We're up. We're up. Ah, oh, yeah, it's the Bee Sting King and the Rat King. Bee Sting, bro. Yeah, Bee Sting dude. Sting King and the Rat King. You look, oh, look, I'm walking at, the, I'm by a 7 Eleven the other day, you know, just minding my business, kind of just kind of seeing what was happening in the area. In 7 Eleven, huh? No, outside of it. Oh, word. Dude, nothing good happens. None, none of the fun stuff, I don't feel like. Ever. Happens inside of the 7 Eleven. Never, unless you're by the Slurpee machine. That gets a little tricky. Yeah, and you might catch a blowjob. You know, somebody that doesn't know how a Slurpee machine works. Yes. So I'm out there. <laughs> I end up in the, uh, I'm outside in the parking lot, and there's a man, a ginger, tall ginger. Mm. And he's walking by with his child. He is a child. Another, same ginger or no? No, the child looked a little darker, I thought. You know, and I've mixed a lot of things in my life. I don't know if I ever go ginger and urban, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, that's... I mean, that's... It's not... There's nothing wrong with it, you know? It's I rare, think, though. Oh, you're going to be able to dunk, you yeah. know? But it's going to... I mean... You get a Blake Griffin is what you get. Yeah, yeah. you get a Blake Griffin, but you also could get a, a you know... Um, you get a potato, too, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can get a potato, too. <laughs> yeah, you can get an eggplant. Yeah, you, know? you get, get that redheaded eggplant. Yeah, you don't know what nobody you, likes. Yeah, dude, you might, get a, uh, you might get a stuffed animal. You know, you never know. So that's that risk, you know. But what happened was, so I'm walking across. I walk, I'm outside of the 7-Eleven, and this dude yells out, Red King! <laughs> right? <laughs> And, bro, the crazy part was there's two other homeless dudes outside the 7-Eleven. So they, did they think that he was referring to them? <laughs> yes. And did the bum oh. go, gang, gang? One of them looked <laughs> and put his hand in the air, you know? Like, yeah, Rat King, baby. You know I eat them rats. <laughs> yeah, I so I didn't know who this guy was. Just, so for a second, I don't know who he's talking to, you know? It took you a while to register. Oh, and then he drags his kid over. The kid is wearing a Brazilian jiu-jitsu outfit, right? And I don't know if it we called a Gia. Yeah. The kid was wearing a Gia. And the uh and they walk him over and the kid is screaming, crying, like does not He's scared of the rat king. So I mean he's probably scared of me. <laughs> he's scared of the other scared of the real the rat, rat king. Yeah. You. Oh, he's that scared of the other rat son. kings in training, boy. <laughs> he's scared of this. I mean he's scared that his dad is dragging him through a seven eleven parking lot. You know, while he's wearing basically a Japanese man's dress is what that thing is. <laughs> and so Anyway, the dude hits me up in the parking lot. He's like, oh, Rat King. And he's like, ah, oh, I love you, man. His kid is crying. His kid starts using whatever jujitsu moves there are on him, like on his leg, right? Just totally. The and dad doesn't give a fuck. Oh, the dad doesn't give a fuck, dude. You can he's tell that. He's trying to get a glimpse of the real oh, Rat yeah. King. Oh, gee. <laughs> you can tell he's going to beat the son at the house, you, were, you know? Yeah, as soon as you get out. Yeah. You embarrass me in front of the Rat King yeah. like that? Yeah. Little motherfucker. So that was wild, man. And you were just chilling out front the Seven Eleven, though. Yeah, I was. Were you out looking there. for trouble, or you're just kind of chilling? No, I just like to see who's in the neighborhood, man. We have a lot. Like at our Seven Eleven, they got a lot of. It's a lot of pimps come by with escorts. You got a red box out there. Oh, they you know, still have the red box. Yeah, who which uses those things still? I think honestly, women that want to get, or you know, who want to risk getting raped i think because basically think about it you're a woman you turn your back to the entire world and it takes a hot second yeah, to right, get that damn. dvd out yeah, like, right. then you got to bend over to get the and DVD it's a out. dollar yeah. it's a dollar you'll put in your credit card info oh. they don't have the new hotness there either because no, no. that red box has been sitting there for a minute you know oh definitely one of them um yeah, it's like, I don't even know if it has movies in it. I think it just plays songs. Like, it's old as oh, you, fuck, Oh, you talking about bro. a jukebox, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. They ain't red box. It's a jukebox, son. Well, that, look, they had a, um, one of them, I think a homeless dude just lives inside of it. And he'll reenact the film that you want to <laughs> uh, rent. He's trying to shuffle through these random ass DVDs. <laughs> Which one you say? <laughs> I can't find it. Yeah, Anything like, else? I'll give you a, a little Nemo and a family man. Just take that. <laughs> Just as good as the new Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were, uh, you're fresh off the plane from Vegas. Yeah. You went man. out there to see our boy Joey Diaz shoot his Netflix special. I saw him, dude. It was pretty cool. 30 minutes of heat. Yeah. Who opened up for him? Because uh, uh, I opened up for him at the Ice House when he was going to run a set the week before. Oh, yeah. That's right. I had that video, actually. At my house, I haven't even watched it. Uh, well, I, wa oh, I haven't yeah? watched yours. I watched his. Oh, dope. And he was saying... Uh, He's like, yeah, it's all, it all depends, too. I need someone to open up who just brings fucking fire because 30 minutes you got to pack in a shitload yeah. of it. I'm guessing. I think it was Dean Del Rey because I didn't see Dean or it could have been Kate. It might have been Kate Quigley, but I think it was Dean Del Rey. 
Mm. You know, because Dean he's definitely, yeah, Dean's a nice guy. I mean, he definitely throws a lot of, I mean, he'll, you know, he'll get people oh, he's laughing. he's been doing it for a while. Yeah. So Dean's 70 or 80, I think. <laughs> he's been doing it a hot minute. Yeah, <laughs> dude, if he's, he's not. A Porsche. Whenever I see him, we just talk Porsches. Oh, he knows about Porsches? He knows about everything. He knows about everything, man. Uh, he, uh, yeah, I guess he's selling his Porsche. Wow, to he's pay for sell- his throat cancer. Have you heard his, uh, <laughs> he's got the wildest throat. He's a, he's, a, he's selling it to buy a house. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Smart move. He is a dope ass Porsche. Uh yeah, man. Nice but, guy though and knows all like the rock and roll legends, but I think he opened up. And then how Joey was just on fire. Yeah, man, he did good. I think, you know, he probably uh you know, I think he wanted to get it right. You know, I mean he was just and then the second shot, I couldn't tell if he was stone you know, if he smoked or was partying or like cause, did, he, did he seven Death Stars or some shit <laughs> like that. Dude, yeah. I can't. I, I don't know how he functions. Me neither. He's the only. There must be nobody else in his class and his. You know. Oh yeah, Rogan weight says class like when the, it comes the, to drugs. No, they say when he takes like those edibles, like most people would knock out. He's yeah. functional. Right? Oh, he's the bust. I think Douglas he's gonna start doing some rhinoceros tranquilizer, some oh, sort dude, of yeah. elephant sleep aid or some shit. I don't know what else he's gonna do. Yeah. So his first one, he wasn't as high. Well, he only got to shoot two or just one. He got to shoot two. <clears throat> so back we, to back. Um, well, one and then, yeah, you do, it's like two different crowds. They move the crowd in and out. Like I show up, no joke. I show up and they had, um, some dude had just passed out out front. Like he was out front in the line. Some tall white dude went down. Dehydrated probably. Something or just dumb as fuck, you know, (laughs) because some people these days are dropping just from being ignorant. That's true. You know, but he was at, was he out in that fucking Vegas heat? That's what I thought, too. He's like, oh, this guy's out here. Yeah, tall, really pale, probably didn't go out much. Nope. Probably didn't know what the elements are like. Nope. Stayed outside a little tube, walking the strip. Yeah. Went to Eminem Playground, <laughs> yeah, whatever the yeah. fuck it is. Got dehydrated. Yeah. Then came to see Joey Diaz, got a little too excited. Yeah. Passed the fuck out. Too keyed up, too looped up on his own, you know, hopes and dreams. What and time was it at? He went down and he had a black friend with him. And what the black friend do? Uh, I Stop think he jetted. Out. I think they thought he was going to, he did it. <laughs> so that dude was gone. So next thing you know, I'm over there like trying to help. And they, you know, they had IVs come. They had yeah, ambulance. Get him out <clears throat> do you think about it? No, I wasn't going to. Honestly. Even if you were struggling? I'll give a little dude mouth to mouth. I'm not giving a tall dude mouth to mouth. Why not tall? I don't know, man. It just feels wrong if he's taller. <laughs> it's fucked up, man. Well, I mean, I love, you know, I have some friends, I guess, that are pretty tall. We're friends. I, I'm tall. Yeah. Wait, how tall are you? You're not short. I'm um, I'm like about 5'11 and a half, you know? That's not short. You're taller than Callan. Am I really? Yeah. How tall is he? Callan's probably 5'10 five, five, ten ten. and a half. He <laughs> moves so fast, you can't really see how tall he is. He want, He does that on purpose. He oh, yeah. He also wear heels sometimes. Oh, really? We had this dude in our neighborhood growing up named Herbie that would wear these heels, dude, that his own family made him. And they were like three, maybe four, maybe four inches high, right? Full shoe heel. Dude, six foot. Oh, dude, look. And then he would comb his hair straight up. So he was like a small person. Just a oh, book ended between just fucking <laughs> things God didn't give him, you know? Why would he do? How old was he? Uh, he might have been anywhere. We were kids. So he could have been anywhere from 20 to 40. You know? Oh, God, I feel, yeah, don't do that. Dude, like, he would, just rock your height, man. Yeah, bro, he couldn't. And his grandparents were tall, or were little, and they fucked, and that's what happens. You know, you can't. Yeah, you get them shitty genetics. Oh, his grandmother. I don't even know. She might have been three and a she half feet tall. She was busted. She wasn't a little person either. She was like a little person, but but like with giganticism. You know what I'm talking about? You ever see a little person just rocking that cusp? Like they fucking yeah, fought through it? Like they're the big little yeah, person? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where they don't have that fat ass? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like That's, they look normal, just really small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like not a real little person. Yeah. yeah but little people all, are always, little, all little people have fat asses. They do. PH fat. Not like No, oh like yeah. Muscled asses up. I'm talking Detroit. I'm talking Muscle pen, ass. Penfield. I'm talking Penfield. I'm talking T Pain video ass. Yeah, 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 you know dude, what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> all of them have it. Yeah, they all have that ass like you set your uh screen on the wrong uh yeah. ratio. What's that called? Jen? The, where the the zoom where it like is zoom out and it just goes boom oh that letter box like you put it on that letter oh, box i mean why you gotta do that why the <laughs> fuck would you google the seven dwarves yeah, dude, that's, oh, i mean that was just dwarves. ignorant i just put a little people there. and those are senior citizen dwarves which doesn't even really happen that's a no, crazy part. see that's how you know it's a, a myth 
That's like Brad Williams is probably going to die soon, and nobody's really talking about they it. They don't live long. Yeah. Uh, they, they have a shorter lifespan, you know? That's wild, man. And, you know, some can have kids, and then the kid is born regular size. Mm-hmm. Like, there's that show, Little People, Big World. Oh, I used to love that show, man. Yeah, me too. Dude, the roll off. divorce. Yeah, yeah, because the guy, I think, we wanted to do his own thing. He's trying to fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I think the fame but hit him. But yeah, the fame hit him. He started hit, getting with other hoes, regular size hoes. Yeah. Once you get a taste of that regular life, you don't want to go back. <laughs> you and then the, then the But then the, the wife seems like a bitch. She seems like she did not want any of that. And she, she still just runs wanted the to ranch. be a mom. That's what she runs like the ranch. Me. Yeah. And he had to dip out, and he has a side piece now. Mm-hmm. And they live in the little uh, side piece, like hut in the back. I'm just, <laughs> they don't. Yeah, I promise. What, they dude? live on the same land. Are you a fucking peeping Tom out yeah, there? Yeah, dog. They live Bro, on the you same You must land. be like a giant if you show up over there. <laughs> they must see you in the woods eating <laughs> berries and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, damn. We got an ogre on the South Pass. Yeah. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that mom, she took everything, Doug. Well, you know what? I always She's got strong the minded. Yes. I always got the vibe from her that she was a good mom. She just wanted to like raise the kids. And then he came in with all, you know, he always had big ideas. He was always trying to build like a, always um, something. yeah, he wanted to build a fucking civil war battlefield or something in the yard. Or yeah. He wanted to, Can't ever chill. Yeah. Yeah. He was exhausting. Oh, he was fucking exhausting on the show. Can you imagine having to run your house? <laughs> Just a little that, guy dude. running up to you all the time wanting to build a fucking water slide Smells in your kitchen. Smells like cabbage and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't trust him. Now well, you mentioned I see the pictures. I don't trust him at all. Yeah, I don't trust that guy. Matt Roloff. Yep. Yeah, then they have a oh, he son. Looks German, he, I think. Yeah, he definitely does. They have a son, and he's just regular ass size. Yeah, they got a son and daughter, and they got the boy Zach is one of them. Oh shit! You know your little people, big world. Is Matt one of them? Jeremy, I think, is the older brother. You know, what, he, he believe they were selling pumpkins, dude. The biggest fucking vegetable in the world. <laughs> they were selling insane. pumpkins. Yeah. God, that's strange. <laughs> Bro, how fucking They're balling though. Like they had a shitload of land. Oh yeah, they and they have a huge farm out there. That's in Oregon. And that's um people come out to get their pumpkins. But a mat, that that right there must have pissed the wife off. You're a little person. The man runs in the kitchen one day and says, I know, pumpkin pump. Pumpkins. And she's like, bitch, wait, you know how heavy those are? Yeah. You mean like the miniature pumpkins? Like yeah. this one nah, nah, we're going big pumpkins. Yeah. He's exhausting. He's fucking exhausting. And then he's on crutches. He don't have to do any of the work. He does none of the work. <laughs> he goes around in that John Deere tractor yeah. while everyone else is on foot. You know, he's a bitch. He, he's an asshole. Yeah, now I think of it. That guy, look at him. There's the whole family carrying pumpkins, and he's on his <laughs> he's not crutches. Doing shit. Yeah, that guy's insane, dude. He's that like the mom's quad, quadded up, though. Oh, yeah, she's got that ass, boy. She's got that 3-4 ratio or whatever that yeah, is, that screen. Up. 34, 28, 34. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's just like 34, 34, 34. <laughs> Only if she's 2'9. Like a- <laughs> dun, 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 dun. But look at him. What are, he's like, like a the fucking 50 roll cent. of quarters. Yeah, yeah, it's like a roll of quarters. <laughs> just, just one shape. <laughs> one fucking shape. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Well, yeah, it really is, dude. What an asshole. Yeah, he's an asshole. We went hard in the paint on small people, but... But not really, though. Yeah, you I know? celebrate him. There's a lot of great ones. Dude. I'll tell you about the first time I ever met Brad Williams. He's been on here, huh, the comedian? Yeah, I love Brad. Has Brad been on here? No, his his boy has been on here. Nick? Little Nicky? No, 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 no. We, uh, little, uh, has Brad little been on Jeremy? Here? Is that dude Little the Jeremy? Other, in uh, Theo Studio now, I think he was with us once. Uh, yeah, Brad was on here because yeah. he's talking about all the crazy shit he, him and his girl. They're, they're little yeah, swingers. Susan? They're swingers. Oh, yeah, they're swingers. That's no, his, his boy Adam Ray was on here, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who he does the podcast with. Yep. Do they still do it? I'm not sure if they still do it, but I know that Brad, uh, first time I ever saw him, dude, I was at USC, right? I don't even know what I was doing there. You didn't and, go to school there? Uh-uh. What you doing on campus? <laughs> Probably fucking, you know. Perving out. Did you have that haircut <laughs> at USC? Uh-uh. No, no, they wouldn't let you on campus, dog. Hell no, Hell dude. Bro. But the good thing it's is... It's getting it, longer in the back, too. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. Dude, and I had to get my back waxed, and the other day, some of my top hair got caught up in some <laughs> of my back fucker. hair. And that's called the Holy Grail. Yeah. When that happens, dude. You or the can, redneck tuxedo. <laughs> oh, dude, you can hear. <laughs> that's that fucking redneck taint right there. That's that... The that, redneck rat tail. <laughs> yeah, that's that country hey, taint. So, anyway, so you met Brad on US, USC? He comes up on a little mini motorcycle. <laughs> the first time I'd ever, A... Seen a, a little person on like a speed wheeler, you know, or any type of fast, you know, machinery, machinery, um, and then just zoom right up. 
And I was like, holy shit, dude. And I knew about him as a comedian. I was like, oh, that's like, that's that guy. That's Brad Williams. It's just crazy, man. He was a superhero. Yeah, it really was, man. Did you, but did you guys know of each other or no? I can't remember if we talked in or not, but then in the future I saw him um, again. And uh, and we and I told him about that story. We he's became, a cool ass dude. But he's, yeah, he's nice, man. He's a hard worker, too. He's a hard worker, bro. Yeah, he uh, he was supposed to come on the fire and the kid. Something happened. Like, we were in the studio waiting for him, and he just no-showed. Oh, wow. Which is usually like, you're just, for it's, Brian's a little more lenient on it, but I'm usually like, all right, no more. You're done. Right. He stood us up. And then uh, Brian mentioned that to him, like, dude, Chubb's a bit of a dick when it comes to that stuff, like, if, if you're late or whatever. And so I was, or Brian and I were doing a show together at Brea in the green room. There's a card and there's gift certificates oh, from him? Amazon. Yeah. He's oh, like, I'm so nice sorry. It was his publicist messing up. It wasn't on him. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're good now. I love Brad. That's cool. Well, it's really nice of him, though, to do that. Yeah, don't give me an Amazon gift card. Though, yeah. You know? It's weird. Yeah? I, I mean, told him, I said, you can just keep that, you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Well, it is kind of weird to think that then you're on there shopping and he's thinking about you being on lunch shopping. <laughs> well, it's just it's a, to give another grown man a gift card is, was strange to me. Yeah. Or like cash. Like, my bad, man. Here's some cash. Here's 60 bucks, dude. I used to do that. If I was like a struggling comic, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Thanks, bro. But I didn't know. Yeah, what, I guess that I, is kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, weird. <laughs> I was like, I, here, I feel like you need it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, so I got up there to Joey Diaz, and it was great, man. Joey killed it. Yeah, he killed it. Did you see the other comedians? Because there were six, it was six 30-minute specials, right? Oh, wow. Uh, six people shot. I saw Christina Pazitsky. Christina, uh, Tom Segura's wife, if you guys don't know who that is. She's hilarious. And then you got Big J Orkson. Oh, yeah, I saw Big J, too, man. I like Big J. Yeah, Big J's a nice guy, dude. I saw him and Christine, his wife. And uh, that, but I didn't see him perform. The only person I saw perform was Joey. That was it. And you just went there solely to see Joey perform. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, Joey man. He's close? been good to me. Yeah, I, I feel like we are pretty close. You know, he's uh, yeah, he's just you know, he's remarkably you ain't gonna cry. supportive. No, I'm good, man. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought you were about to get choked. No, I got up. sciatica, bro. Chill, dude. <laughs> Damn, I mean, I got sciatica in my tear ducts, but <laughs> so that shit flares up sometimes, bro. Sometimes daddy melts a little bit, you yeah, know? Feel Whatever, you, son. Get off my fucking glacier, baby. <laughs> if you can't handle this fucking drip, drip, you know? The drip, drip, it, uh, the drizzy. But I love that man. Me too. He's a good, he, you know, he's just a special dude. He's one and of the good ones. He is. And it was, it was just cool. And uh, yeah, it was just because it's a, it's a crazy I can't believe night. it took this long to get for him to get a Netflix special. Because besides that, he really he had like a the, he was, he had a special on CISO or something. Yep. Doesn't count, you right? Know? So it's like for a guy of Joey Cal, uh, Diaz caliber, it's crazy. He never had Showtime or HBO or anything like that. It's his industry, man. That's why they don't want to. It's they, timing too, right? I don't think it is. I think the industry is just so grip. insular. That they only want to reward certain types of people and that they don't know what good comedy is. But he's so different. You, you know, we. I know. So many like, people are the same, but he's, there's only one Joey Diaz. The experiences he comes from, yeah. you, they're not going to get anywhere else. No. Like, there's a million white comics, a ton of black comics. The f Cuban assassin? Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, how, like, what more diversity do you want? You got a 50 year old. Cuban, this dude swam here. His mother died when he was young. He went to prison. Yeah, he went started to prison. Stand up in prison. Yeah, started doing See, stand up in prison. You know what I would have done if I was Joey? Well, he might, obviously, it's his experience, but I would have done that Johnny Cash theme and done my stand up from a prison. Wow. That's what I would have done. And I would have shot it in black and white. Yeah. Think how epic that would be. Joey, you know what? Joe, you know how big Joey Diaz is in prison systems? Yeah. And you do it there, you set it up, and he would just rock that fucking place. Think of Joey Diaz in a prison. Dude, think of Joey Diaz running a bail bondsman fucking like business. A, like a reality show? No. No. Oh, yeah. Like, like a reality, reality show. Yeah. And we work in the back. Yes, yes. It's like Pawn Stars, but he's the we leader. Just, yeah, we just peek out. And I'm like, oh, door. what do you guys got? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they just give us, the show's getting on my nerves, yeah, by the dude, way. What? Well, quit watching it, bro. I it's know. the same episode every time. Every time. Someone brings something in, they go, yeah. oh, God, how much you want for it? 17000 Yeah. Ugh, I don't know a lot about comic books. <laughs> You mind chilling out? I'll make a call. I'll bring an expert in. Every, like, and the, fuck, bro. Yeah. Every episode's the same shit. Yeah, have you guys learned? You have, you, this is your 19th season. You still don't know anything? And then I don't need the stupid, dumb, fat ones being like, 
oh, this is a badge from World War II. And World War II, and then they break down. Yeah. You can, it goes off screen, and they're, like, reading this fucking biography. Dude, the bullshit. best is somebody brought in, like, the spinal, like, oh, yeah, this is my grandmother's spinal column, you know? Yeah. And it was fucking. And they're all, uh, how much you want for it? Seven dollars? Oh, I don't know how much spinals are going for these days. Got a few minutes to chill out while I call in my friend. Every show. Every fucking show. I'll tell you what I fucks with. We're all over the place. I don't give a fuck. I'll tell you what I fucks with is uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh, yeah. You and him look like brothers. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude Will you, hey. Can you Is am- that your dad? <laughs> is Dog the dude? dude? Bro, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Bro. Don't fucking <laughs> touch me after you're a dick, dude. <laughs> Bro. Same fucking dick tag. Look at your dad. No way, bro. <laughs> your dad's on the <laughs> That just hit me. He dyes his hair, dude. And he, he has asthma, too, and he uses the N-word. Uh, Does he use the n I mean, so we have a couple things in common, but that's <laughs> it, bro. Bro, you guys look identical. No way, dude. Are you shitting me? His wife looks like a fucking... Nightmare. Oh my you talking god. About tits? You talking about tits? <laughs> yeah, it's like her stomach just fucking hooked to her chest and then uh then got a divorce. No, looks, That's what it looks, it looks like. like when she eats, it just goes her titties. Yeah, yeah, like every meal she's ever had like her it just tits fills up her tits. Yeah. <laughs> like her tits are taking shits, probably. Look at that. Oh my god. Dude, it looks like a fifty year old dude's ass on her chest. That's insane. Bro. Don't reach over here, you fucking bloated Italian. Dude. You look like an Italian dude that drowned and then just still lived. You How about a zombie? Yeah, fuck. you fucking look like a, a like Sicilian Italian zombie, zombie, dude. Bro. Jesus, bro. What's Dog what? the Bounty Hunter like to us? Bro, dad? you look like a Persian dude who's staring straight. Dude, do you get any royalties? Bro, you look like a Persian dude on Test 200 that's staring straight into the sun. You can't even open your fucking eyes, dude. Dude, you're out of your you mind. Look- I'm about to put quarters in your face, bro. And dude. play your ass. <laughs> play your ass. What? Dude, you look like on a Friday night, you and your dad, Dog the Bounty Hunter, go get a red. Red box and jack off together. <laughs> okay, I'll agree to some of that. Look at how she looks. Bro, get some pants for your tits. Can you see this lady's tits, bro? Dude, I just call her tits. Look at the him. biggest titties you've ever seen in your life. It's just a head and tits, and then two toothpick legs out the bottom. Like if a kid drew, it, she looks like a third grade drawing yeah, of a yeah. fruit, <laughs> like two grapefruits and a stick at the bottom, yeah. and fucking yeah. eyes. She looks like a drawing of a way perverted kid. It know? looks like if you asked your four year old to fucking draw a troll with titties. Yeah. Oh my god! But oh, yeah, man. you you got to get him on the show, dude. <laughs> he would be awesome. He would be, dude. You guys call him up for us. What do you mean? You guys. I don't have a bat signal. Well, you know? Uh, you like, I just put a big light other. with a can of dip in the air and he'll show up. You're out of your mind, bro. You're out of your mind, bro. Uh, Dude, she hey, looks you like... you know what I love? Huh. He's from where I'm from. He's from Aurora. From Hawaii, huh? He's from, no, he's, <laughs> that's the thing. He's from Aurora, but he lives in Hawaii. Yeah. And now he's always like, hey, bro. It's like, whoa, we don't talk like that in Denver. But he's been there for like... A year or so, and he just took over their language. He really? got super tan. Yeah, people love him out there, dude. Yeah, didn't he get in trouble or some shit? Yeah, he the said N-word. the N-word to his daughter on the phone one yeah. time. He called her an N-word? No, I was talking about some or her he boyfriend. Said, yeah, he said it once. Um, and then got fired? Yeah. Yeah, I can't have that, can we? Yeah, you can't have it, man. Dude, his hair's better than yours, though, man. That's cool. That's goals, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, you gotta have goals. <laughs> goals, bro. You gotta have goals. <laughs> dude, you know his wife just grows hair for him, and he fucking hooks it in in the back. <laughs> do you also have those glasses? Like, what the fuck's he doing we with do those glasses? We do have the same nose, I think. Dude, you guys are very similar. It just hit it is me. a little similar. We were talking about reality shows, and I love Dog the Bounty Hunter. They replay him on A and E. I watch them nonstop. Well, then he must be making some money, or they are somebody residuals. I don't know. I bet at a certain point he probably did have some residuals because it was all based on him. Look dude. at those tits again. Get down to the blue. T- the blue, dude. Go to him with his shirt off. Oh yeah. Damn dog. Damn, that's her. <laughs> Is that her? <laughs> Look at his hair. Wow, Damn. dude. I bet. Uh, I bet he takes crazy dumps too, bro. <laughs> yeah, I bet. His I bet he shits out of a insane. window. That guy's insane. I bet he shits in criminal's mouth. Oh, like that's his shit, man. I bet he shit. I bet he swims out of the ocean and just shits into an alligator's mouth, bro. <laughs> that guy's a wildcat. He's a wildcat, dude. I uh, 
Man, That's a good show, though, if you haven't seen it in a hot second. Look wow. at titties. That's unbelievable. Dog and tits. Yeah, That's what they should call it, dog and tits. It should be that dog should be the, the bouncy show. hunter. That's what it should be, dude, because those <laughs> things are fucking bouncing, dude. If I was a kid, I would never grow up if I had those tits, dude, me, in my mouth. Me ever. I, or or you'd be like 6'8", <laughs> yeah. and just jacked. Just sucking on them tits. At nine those, years those, old, those you'd be kids, six, eight. hundred yeah. percent. Those could feed a goddamn village. <laughs> just one titty. Enough for everybody. Dude, you could put out a fire with milk with those fucking tits, dude. That's insane. <laughs> I bet she is a savage in the sack. <laughs> oh, what sack, bro? <laughs> I'd put that lady in a body <laughs> bag, dude. There's an, I don't know if I could fuck that lady, man. <laughs> oh, you could. You get them big old things out, slap in your face. She starts saying, come on, boy. Come on, Theo. Come on, son. Let's do it. Why does she have a man's voice? That's how she talks. Oh, I hope not. And then, and then she she has her tits. She's squ- squishing those fat tits, but she, she can't lift. She has on tits. those black gloves. She always wears the fingerless black gloves oh, yeah, dude. and has her nails proper done. Her yeah, nails are real proper. Oh, that's a good all point. the time. Her yeah. nails are proper, like that sixty year old dude at the gym who wears those yeah. fish nets. Yeah, she's still rocking that shit. Dude, I used to rock those fish nets when I first started working out. They were dope. Can we see her in the pink right there, Chin Diamond? In the, the pink, bar- and he's in the blue. Yeah, yeah. Just a oh shit my God, show. God, bro. He looks They're like a little the person. Same person. They're morphing into the same Look person. Look at that fucking hair, though. That is beautiful. It's like when they eat, it goes to his stomach and goes to her titties. <laughs> Yeah, they have a dual. It's like a, a bipartisan digestive system. Yeah, yeah, it's just one in the same. You know, how some people start Ooh. to look like their dogs. Mm-hmm. Their his stomach starting to look like her too. Yeah, <laughs> she starts to look like her dog, the bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. imagine being a bounty hunter in Hawaii. First of all, nobody could go anywhere. It's a fucking island. How can you, you not catch yeah, him? How can you not? The fucking it's the easiest place to catch criminal ever. Yeah, bro. It's a small island. He's he's like nowhere. He's lazy. Now that I met, that's fucking lazy. That's, that's like being a wrangler in a in a uh, it's like, like in a hamster cage. It's like fishing at PetSmart. Yeah. Like, it's fucking easy, man. <laughs> that's in Denver. It was a beast for him. So he said, "Fuck this. Let's take it to the <laughs> islands." Yeah. He's bad at his job. He had to go uphill once. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never understood that show. Like if Dog the Bounty Hunter, he has he's not a legal fucking yeah. officer. There's no he's no badge or nothing that you don't have to stop. Uh-uh. Some <laughs> motherfucker comes to your going. house, they put up with. It. I'm like, fuck you, bro. No, call the cops, you fucking yeah. moron. Yeah. And get your big titty wife yeah. out of my face. Yeah. What the fuck is this? I'd be like, are these cameras? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I'm a criminal. I'm a fucking yeah. escape <laughs> convict. Are you shitting me? You have tasers. Yeah. How about I shoot both of you? I never understood. I it. think he gets the people to look at the wife's tits. <laughs> and then and he that's re- when he gets them. And then he handcuffs them. Oh, yeah. And then when they're in the car, they give him that Jerry Seinfeld, like, my one minute. They give yeah. him the speech. Like, yeah. you know you're not doing the right thing, brah. <laughs> like, you know you don't want to go down this road, brah. Yeah, and man. then, he, then he, he was a drug addict, too. Was he really? Yeah, so then he's like, I've been there, brah. I've been there. You don't want this, brah. He keeps saying brah <laughs> to everyone. I love him. I celebrate him, man. Dude, I got to watch him again, man. <clears throat> yeah, you got him, man. You guys look similar. I got to get back into that. We don't look that similar, but I wouldn't mind having being jacked as him in the future. I wouldn't mind having more abs, though. Yeah, yeah you might. Well, his titties starting to sack a little bit, but... <clears throat> But God, that, she just needs to get her tits out of our face. Um, Those things are. I mean, keep, what, what is that? Is that a titty? Are you a titty guy? I don't know, man. These <laughs> days, it's you know, you you know, there's just you don't have to pick these days. I don't think there's just some tits are just cr- like I didn't like whenever they had like a big girl back in the day, and she'd be like, "Oh, I got these tits," and I was like, "Nah, no. that's just kind of weight." Yeah, yeah. No, that's you just. just it's proportionate to the rest of your body. Yeah, you got just, rolls. It's just two extra rolls with a nipple on them. Yeah. 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 You just got weight around they the don't nipples. Count. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of threw me off of the tit game, I think, earlier. Oh, did you hook up with a chubster? Um, I hooked up with this real tall girl, man, when I hadn't really hit a growth spurt, you know? So you're shorter. Yeah, and I would uh and she would fucking even pick me up, dude, oh, when I was she in would school. Fuck you. She wouldn't fuck me. Oh, or I thought you saying she'd pick you up and fuck you. No, we weren't fucking, dude. We were children. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. She'd pick you up from school? No. You want to fucking pick me up from school, dude? <laughs> Are you full of this Dude, I'm not getting molested by a woman, bro. All well, right? Well, put two and two together. Big, tall woman. Yeah. You're a child. Big, tall She's girl. picking you up yeah. from weird. Yeah. 
<laughs> we both went to we went to junior high together, dude. And she was tall, and I hadn't hit a growth spurt yet. She, but she would lift me up sometimes and hug me by at the end of the day, and we'd kiss a little bit. All right. And she had short hair, dude. And kids would go out on the school bus and yell fags at us out the window. Oh, damn. Because really? they thought that both of us were boys, man. Ah, oh, that poor girl. Dude, it made me, yeah, I felt bad for Ruthless her. Ruthless out there. I felt so bad for her. I mean, I just, it was just, you know, and it was just stupid kids, you oh, know. Oh, they're not, per- yeah, they don't, they don't understand. They don't know they, anything. Yeah, yeah. And that was, you know, it was back when kids would say stuff just more willy nilly. But man, I fit, <clears throat> it made me feel bad for her. I stayed I, with I her even honest. longer. Yeah, I bet. You I stayed with her even longer because I was yeah. like, because uh, she was super cool. I mean, she did like a lot of dude kind of stuff, and she definitely did look like a dude kind of from like. She, she, <laughs> now that you think of you think she was a lesbian? Uh, <laughs> now, no. now you're reminiscing on it, you think she was a little bit of a lesbian? She got me an Atlanta Braves t shirt for like our one year anniversary. Or oh, whatever. that's nice. It had like a baseball glove on it and stuff. So I think she like, I don't know. I don't think she was. I think she, it could have gone either way. What I do think, you think she's doing now? I think, I can't imagine her really passing a kid, you know, but I could imagine her finding a husband that likes to hike a lot and stuff like that. Like outdoorsy shit. Yeah. But they had some money, man. Her family had some money, so I'd go over there, dude, and they had all kind of nice stuff in the house, you know. The Wild West. Ice maker on the fridge, dude. Not mad at dude, that. Dude, if somebody had ice Cold maker, water. I would push that bitch and just let all the ice hit me in the fucking <laughs> face and neck, dude. It was, like being in, uh, it was like being in Utah or something in the mountains. Dude, I gotta be honest. You, I, I, I'm not even trying to clown. I'm, you're not a chubby chaser at all. Mm. <laughs> not really, I don't think, man. But actually... I met this girl in Minnesota one time, and she was thick, grandiose. But I'm talking, she probably weighed 400 pounds. Grandioso, yeah, <laughs> grandiose, 400 pounds, 400 Latino pounds too. Those grandioso, yeah, uh, Elvis. And she, um, her, her, we ended up her, kissing her, in her car actually. At the end of the day, that's she, it. Yeah, that's it, bro. You didn't dude, split a tostada yeah. or some nah, shit, and she sucked you off. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Really, dude? I would be. A Sometimes f- they have barnacles on their knees Nuh-uh. and stuff, and like their thighs rub together so they get barnacles. Oh, on. really? Yeah. What you ever seen? My six hundred pound life. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, she might have been on there. She I don't was watch that. Big. No, she was had a four hundred pound life. God, and she. How far up? Uh, yeah, that's true. But you two hundred more pounds. <laughs> there was a guy who was a thousand pounds. <laughs> Why? A thousand, dude. That's a guy in a kiddie pool. I think that's he's not died. even a fucking human. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he died. Yeah, yeah dude. Tough. Bro, if you're going to do a thousand pounds, bro, get the fuck out. That's not fair. No, it wasn't fair to him either. His poor skeleton system. Oh. Dude, man, that's crazy. Dude, bro. this is the problem. I'll watch that show. Mm hmm. Like, oh, look, he has your belt. Leave the guy's belt down there. But I'll watch the show. Ooh, you got the strap. And it makes huh? me hungry. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yes, it makes me. You would think you'd do the opposite, but it makes me hungry. Like, I'll watch Intervention. I don't want to do drugs. I'll watch right. My 600 Pound Life, and I want food. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Yeah, Intervention scares me, bro. When they do the needle shots, yes. I'm like, who is watching this? And, the, and the, uh, the camera crew and the production crew, who was it? Whose uh, girl was in here? Oh, Jimmy Smith. His wife used to work on that show. No. Oh, yeah. He was telling me before, he said his wife worked on that show. And wow. So they can't intervene. Like, that's the rule. They can't intervene. They can't do anything. So he would say, like, <clears throat> she would be on set. It was exhausting, first of all, but she'd be on set, and the drug addict would be like, man, I need to go make some money. I'm going to Target. But they they don't want to know what they're going to do because they film them doing a crime, then they can't air it. Oh, so really? Like, nope, don't tell us. Well, well, if you're going somewhere, just follow on. Don't tell us what you're doing. Wow. Because so, they can't. Oh. They legally can't do that stuff. A lot so of- you're like, don't tell. Just keep it very vague. Whatever you're going to do, we don't want to know. Just do your thing. So that's when they'd roll into like Kmart and they come out with like, gang, they come out like get you. They're all happy like gang, 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 gang. Boy, they got televisions they and they come back in and then yeah, get they got cash. little televisions in their jacket. Yeah, dude, that yeah, that show is crazy. When people start shooting up on intervention, that is insane, man. Crazy. Yeah, I like the old guy. Who's that old guy on the right? If you don't mind, Chin with the um, oh, that fake ass head. doctor. Yeah, Phil? Jeff Van Jeff Van Vondren, dude. Van that was my dude, bro. He's that alley cat version of Doctor <laughs> Phil. Oh, he's that like a cat before it's going to die. Yeah. He's, he's got that look. Yeah, he does. When his skin starts to just shag on <laughs> He's head. been through some shit. Oh, been through the dark arts, dude. That guy's done so much drugs. He probably had cocaine in his ass, methamphetamines, <clears throat> everything in a, every orifice in his body, and now he's helping others, man. Yeah, he's been doing some acid, too. Look at his forehead. Um, <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. yeah oh, I can that see that. That's stress. <laughs> yeah. Dude, speaking of acid, I had a dream. <clears throat> 
last night. I didn't even ask you about your weekend, man. What'd you do? What did I do? <laughs> now you're t- Damn. Trick questions with Brendan Schaub. Dude, bro. I started taking Kratom. Did you really? Have you heard of it? Uh-uh. Never heard of it? Kratom for what? Make your forehead smaller? <laughs> no, I don't need that. No, that'd be a problem. I need something to grow it. How many inches you got, bro? Like maybe three. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you're running pretty pretty small in the forehead. pretty small. Yours is pretty yeah. normal. But you have that chin-to-ear distances. Yeah, but the thing is, is it's about to run into my eyebrows, so I got to be careful here. Oh, do you shave that or not? No, woke up like this, man. People think I do my <laughs> eyebrows, too. You do your eyebrows? Fuck no, dude. No, who does? Right? I would get hair installed into my eyebrows. <laughs> Yeah, I could see that. Yeah? They're pretty, it's pretty narrow here, huh? It's thinning out here. It's thinning out, yeah. It's not bad, though. It, yeah, I got my eyes are a little bit too far apart, dude. It's like you they, think? yeah, I was almost. Toad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> never thought about that. Damn, dude. Why, bro? Yeah. When you think of far apart eyes, when you think of a toad? I mean, I guess I never wanted to think about that because I never wanted to feel that way. <laughs> Well, no, I like a nice toad, man. They're cool. What? Like, Nobody's ever that- said I like a nice toad, dude, except somebody that's a creep that lives in New Mexico. Yeah, dude, look at that. <clears throat> Damn, it's a cute bro. Critter. You see how far his eyes are? That's <laughs> what I was thinking when he said that. <laughs> like, like, they're far. Wow. I mean, you don't look like that, but you can see your eyes are similar, bro. Fuck, I can't tell if they are or not, dude. I can kind of see it, maybe some. Pick a different one, Jim. Jesus, that <laughs> one looks right, like so- it's... Nah, that mind. one's giving Maybe. you a profile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. There's one. You see? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Damn, Their bro. Their eyes are far apart, though. Yours aren't Fuck. bad. I got to get my eyes pushed together a little. <laughs> That's going to be tough. <laughs> or just wear glasses. So it, I don't think you have a problem, but if you wanted to like take the attention off your really far apart eyes. Yeah. Then, <laughs> what geez. a fucking bro. You said this. Bro, I didn't you could use a half inch, dude. I can use, see, yeah. we need to meet in the yeah, middle. Yeah. Mine are super close. <laughs> And yours are super wide. I don't know, man. <laughs> Mine are close. I think we'd be fucking, oh my God, that's, a, <laughs> that's you, bro. It, bro. That's you, bro. <laughs> that looks like the fucking, like a rat that got stung by bees, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That thing is struggling. That is so struggling, dude. But when you that, think about far apart eyes, I can't think of another animal I think of than a toad. Yeah, I guess I never thought about that. I don't see a lot of toads, man. Nah, That's they're kind of makes me in a little LA. sad, though. I bet we're in your hometown. There are a lot of toads. Oh yeah, yeah. The, back in Louisiana, you open the door, and sometimes some uh, a little frog would hide in the crack between the door You're and talking the about door a tree jam. Frog? Yeah, yeah, and it would fall right down on I you. I love tree frogs. Really? Yeah, they're cool. I don't really like all of that, man. <laughs> and toads are evil, man. They're from another realm, bro. Did you guys eat them? Uh, no, I've been frogging there where you go out at night and you shine the light on them, and then you grab them and put them in a bag. And do what with them? I don't know. I would always go to sleep when we got back to the place. <laughs> leave them in the bag? Yeah, I don't fucking want any of that shit. I just wanted to be out there doing it. I know, but know? let them go, though, huh? I'm not going to stay up for the next six hours and cut them up so we can fucking eat them like some <laughs> mad scientist. Well, you know? no, I know, but just open the bag so they're not stuck in the bag all night. Oh, no, somebody did something with them. I don't care. They don't give a fuck if you let them go or not. They're fucking toads, dude. Look at them. I used to have a f- uh, pet toad, man. Really? Yeah. I put, I, put, I put mud in a laundry basket and then kept him oh in my, my backyard. God, bro. He was big. Bro, that is one of the definitely most lesbian things I've ever heard somebody do. Pet toad? <laughs> dude, with a laundry basket full of mud? Yeah. Jesus dude. Christ, dude. I you know your go. daughter's going to be a lesbian when you give her a laundry basket <laughs> and you put so much of mud and a frog in it. Yeah, that <laughs> was interesting for sure. Exhibit I real, A, I, I realized he wasn't having a very nice life, so I let him go. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we never had any pets, man. I got attacked by a bunch of animals in our neighborhood growing up. But I was saying is I had a dream, bro, that, dude, I barely got any sleep. I had a dream that oh, somebody was, yeah, somebody's car broke down in my dream, right? So I stopped to help out. And the dude told me it wasn't a dream, the person I stopped to help. So now I'm like, fuck. <laughs> So now you got to help push this car. Oh, I had to help. I had to take him wherever he had to go. And then a bunch of other shit came up. <clears throat> just so like a bunch of errands? just errands. Yeah. Oh, my God. So sounds wait- like a nightmare. Oh, dude, I'm this waiting. Isn't a dream. This Bro, a I was so stressed. I'm waiting in line. Wow. Um, got prescriptions, I bet. No, I don't think I had that. Answering I had answering calls and shit. It's definitely a lot of stuff on my phone. I had to get, do groceries. I had to do uh, all of that. Bro, but I had to fuck this dude t- only because this dude told me it wasn't a dream. So then I'm not. Like dreaming, I'm like, uh, like I'm busy, you yeah. know. 
busy oh. in your dream, man. Bro, fucking That's a nightmare, me. son. It was a nightmare. That's a nightmare. Yeah. It's very rare I remember my dreams, good or bad. Very, yeah? Very rare. I think that's bad, dude. I think that's bad for your brain. That's what they say. Yeah. Do you ever think that some of you, you know, cause didn't you have brain trauma? I've been punched in the face, yeah, a little bit. But somebody said, somebody sent me an email that said, don't say anything to Brendan about his brain because he might have brain trauma. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and I felt bad about that, actually. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not joking, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, whoever said that, that weird thing to I say. I'm not joking. Like, no, no, it's not like I have a brain. No, I don't. Or something. No, you don't seem you like seem I have, fine like to I have me, a list or somewhere. I'm not <laughs> sharp because I fought or I've CT or some shit. Don't mention it to him because if he hears it, it's a trigger and it'll flip out. No, fuck well, no. yeah, I mean that was kind of the thing. So I felt horrible, man, because I thought like you know I felt. No, I don't have a condition. That you had man. autism or something. I was like. Just flaring it up, you know, nah, making I'm fun good, of it. Man, I'd let yeah, you know. that's what I thought. I'm good. I was like, I, I texted the dude back. I was like, when you look him in the eyes, he seemed like he's okay. <laughs> like, nice, checked out. <laughs> yeah, checked out, dude. It's checked out. We good? We good? I don't, I don't have any signs. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to do all this shit if I did. Now I might get it down the road. It could get pretty nasty. But do you they, worry about that? No, I, I don't. I, I think they, they say one of the best things you can do, So because a lot of those guys with CT and brain trauma stuff from football and fighting, is they stop like being creative, they stop pursuing stuff. Right. And then they're fucked, because they're not really using their brain, then it's mush to begin with. Yeah. But, yeah. Do, no, is there ever anything like that brain happens brain. that flares up that you think, like, oh, this could be even a little bitty, like a moment every now and then or anything? Cause, you no, know, like, like, I'll forget my keys and be like, well, here we go. <laughs> You know, like, all right, there's CT, but it's just your standard shit. You right. Know? It's not like you forget your family on a vacation. No, fuck. Like, where am I? What the fuck? No, never, man. Or, you know, you know when you meet someone, like, like, oh, hey, this is Ashley. Like, nice to meet you, Ashley. And then turn around, like, God, what the fuck is that girl's name? Like, here we go. There's brain trauma, man. You asked for it, man. You fucking asked for it. Was there ever, like, a certain, like, hit or moment or moment in football or fighting that you're like, oh, fuck, that's going to give me some trauma? Uh, I mean, I've been knocked out before. Really? So I knew it's not healthy. But no. in, in, in football, we would, in practice and in games, I would know. We didn't know at the time how bad it was for you, but we'd know. It's like I'd get like this ringing. I'd have headaches. And fuck, it is bad, man. Fuck. You never been concussed or anything? Dude, I got knocked out one time. I was looking for the remote, and my nephew fucking pushed me down, right? I mean, I think I might have got knocked out when I was a kid, but I don't remember. You know, you're a kid. Like, everybody's knocking each other out. But as an adult, I fell and hit, like, my temple the on corner? something. Yeah. Oof. Bro, and everything just kind of rattled and then just went dark, bro. And, and then the next thing I know, my brother up. was helping me up. Damn, yeah, you forget. And I was like, what was that? I thought I went hit a warp zone, dude. You know? I thought I was going to fight Bowser, bro. I didn't know what was happening. Bowser, son. Because I'd never, just everything just... I, Zoom. Yeah. It's like slow motion and... Bro, it was you scary. You still remember much of it. That's why I can't. Yeah, I can't even fathom that, that, that some of those type of experiences. You know, that would kind of make me. No, I'm not too worried about it. I get weary. That's what I would it's, get. I mean, it's one of the reasons I got out. Yeah, guys stick around too long. They have some big issues, man. Really? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. And they got big fights this weekend, right? My buddy was Huge telling fights. me. Yeah. Colby Covington. I'm from a town called Covington. I feel like you and you would like Colby Covington. Really? He talks a lot of shit. Oh, does he? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> trying to think who else is fighting uh yo romero robert whitaker cm punk cm punk's mm -hmm. fighting oh dude i, I saw spike yep i was at um why well, you got chicago shirt on? i thought maybe you were wearing it for cm punk he's from chicago oh no my mother's from illinois i'm a cubs fan my grandfather used to cheer for them and then he died but he um but yeah, my I like Illinois. My mom's from Peoria. You so. have some Tom Tom shoes on too, huh? Are those Tom Toms? Yeah, taking it easy, bro. Taking it easy, dude. Lost probably six hundred dollars in Vegas playing the slots, bro. Did you? Yeah. You play slots? I mean, that says a lot about a man. <laughs> hey, bro. Damn, bro, you play slots. Next <laughs> Somebody to has to people play People smoking them, and fucking. Bro, wow, not... you're the youngest person I've ever met that played slots. <laughs> That makes so much sense. Bro, I'm out there. I got to be with the people, man. You know? Dude, most people aren't doing that, bro. <laughs> bro. Dude, I was in Reno one time, and uh, we got snowed in. I was there for comedy, and a guy died the third day. They found him behind some slot machines, oh, dude. Uh, playing too long. I don't know what happened to him, dude. Probably Fuck drinking him. Red Bulls, yeah. playing yeah. too long. Oh, yeah, dude. Going wow, deep, bro. slots. Yeah. You didn't win anything? Um. Oh, no. -uh. Lost like six, 700 bucks, probably. Damn. 
Who loses that much playing slot? I don't, don't play cards or nothing? I should have. I just got kind of lost in there, and then I sat down, and then next thing you know, I was fucking What'd you do that in. night? Just play slots by yourself? I uh, play, play slots. This chick I've been talking to went up there with me. You know, my lady went up there with oh, me. Oh, that's dope. Then where'd you guys stay? So we stayed at um, Caesar's Palace. Interesting you know? pick. Why Caesar's? I don't know. She set it up, you know. She likes slots. She likes slots. She, she likes, likes slots? Yeah, she's God, a fucking... be a deal breaker for me. Oh, it, look, bro, it makes me hurt. It makes you hurt, but I gotta be supportive of shit she wants to do, you know? Slots, though. So I'm fucking watching her play slots and fucking... For hours. You uh, get free cheering drinks, her, though. Huh? But I don't drink. You don't drink. Some That's fuck. the only reason why you play slots, is you get the free drinks all night. <laughs> yeah, dude. So you're just sitting there watching her lose her ass on this boring-ass game. Oh, man. Like Wheel of Fortune or some shit. They're so oh, fucking all stupid, it. too. Oh, it's so ding, retarded, ding, bro. Ding, 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 ding. Never ends. So I think that some of even just being out there in that environment messed my brain up so I couldn't sleep. 100%. But, bro, let's just talk about your girl real quick. I've never met her. I'd have to get my eyes on her see what we're working with. But she wanted to play slots and then book Caesars. Yeah. She's then a regular gal, man. Uh, yeah, uh, we had to go to that Chinese shop. No, nothing. <laughs> not, I didn't mean to look at you right after. <laughs> shit. I Damn, to, dude. Okay. I want to be you, nice. You don't run the Chinese stuff. I know we doesn't know the people, but I just, you know, being respectful. Um, you know, we went over to the Chinese, what Chinese place. Place. The buffet? Know, Yam Yuri or something, I think it's called. In Caesars? Yeah. And we went there and had, you know, because uh, I'm on that paleo diet, so we had to have stuff that I could have, like a soup or something, you know. So. Well, paleo, you can have like chicken and. Yeah, so I was getting chicken and no vegetables. Rice, right? You have chicken, sweat. veggies, sweet potato. You can have your own body sweat. I mean, there's not much you can it's have, It's called dude. Top Ramen. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Shit tastes like sweat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to eat them as a kid, and my brother goes, you know that's, uh, but no offense, Jen. He goes, you know that's Asian people sweat. Oh. That's that's why it's so salty. And I, and I, was, I was young, oh, yeah. and I was like, what? Yeah. And, dude, I haven't oh. ate one since. Wow. Yeah, when I was growing up, they said if you lick the back of an Asian person, you could have, like... Crazy hallucinogenics. Yeah. Oh, wow. Be tough, dude. And we didn't have any, so everybody was always like fucking thought it could be real, you know? Like they're poisonous f- frogs. Yeah. You lick a frog, you go to Trip, trip City. Who's licking a fucking frog? Then, People dude? do it, bro. Somebody that deserves to die, I think. I'm actually going to Shanghai, brother. You ever been there? No. Oh, you're going to China soon, when? huh? I'm going to Shanghai in about six weeks. Is yeah. there comedy out there? Just for a week, yeah. Some dude hit me up. Come do some comedy. Is there a lot of? Is it like a tour based thing? Or he's got three gigs and it's de- it's good money, you know. And but so, is it all Chinese people? Do you I don't have know a who translator. It is. I don't know. You don't know the details. I hope it's somebody that does sign language. Dude. What if it's for <laughs> deaf Chinese people? Do they have deaf Chinese people? Of course. Oh, I'm sure. That's awesome, dude. You're going to do stand up in Shanghai. How long are you going to be out there? Ooh. Uh, one week. That's a long flight. Yeah, it's going to be a long flight. So, Who else is going out there with you? I don't know. Like, are there other comics on the bill? Oh, no. <clears throat> I think there's some local other comedians, you know? Wow. It's going to be wild, but it's good money, and it's funny. You get to be in China for a week. Good stories, too. I'm pretty sure you get stories out yeah, of Yeah, good stories. You can walk around. Have you ever heard anything about China? Uh, friends went. They said it's pretty awesome. I heard but the air's terrible, kind of boring, though. Too. Boring? Yeah, that's what I heard from my buddy. Wow. I don't know. Depends what you're into. If you're trying to get Get what weird over there? Yeah. No. It's cheap, bro. Nuh uh. They have all that sex, everything. There's so much there's so much pollution they don't they can't tell. What do you mean? It's like everywhere you go is a glory hole. (laughs) That's not true, dude. Yeah, bro. That's what my friend said. Bro, I'm not fucking (laughs) Yeah, China glory hole. Dude, it could be a restaurant. I'm not taken by fucking chances. Sushi. Glory hole. They throw they bring a menu and I pull my dick out. Yeah. Stick it anyway. Yeah, Americans can do that. Dude, that's... In, no, Americans can't do that, man. You've been reading old books, man. New you books. You get an updated trip advisor. <laughs> You're not fun, though, man. Dude, what's this bottle of pills you got down here? It's Kratom. <laughs> what is it's it? It's Kratom. So you want some? Let me see this, bro. If you're a former addict, though, it no, ain't for you. Yeah, don't dude, this has a brain riding on a... F- looks no, like a 36 it, caliber bullet. Yeah, dude. it's a brain right on a bullet. This is that fucking school shooter pills, dude. Is this what this is, bro? Have you seen this? No. <laughs> bro, you can't have this, man. Ah, uh, yeah. 
That's what's making this guy, people like that do that in Las Vegas and everything, man. You can't have yeah, that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, man. Crate You em? should take these in China and <laughs> see what happens. No. You should take these in China. I'm not taking your, those back to China. Okay. They're probably illegal, You know what? They're though. probably from China. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, buy some out there and just get fucking weird, my... Buy a geisha like cape or some shit. <laughs> oh, I'll buy some outfits and stuff, but I'm not gonna Dude, get. Dude, wear them out there. Oh like, yeah, one with the culture, man. That's a good point. Actually, you get your, fully you Chinese. Whoever, yeah, go full. You know, don't get racist about it. Don't no. wear like a Raiden hat or some shit. But wear <laughs> like a that. cool like kimono. Put a bunch of blades on my yeah. hands, <laughs> like Wolverine yeah. or some shit. <laughs> like you're Raiden. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, what is Kratom, bro? Let's not stop talking about that for a second. Because just in case this is the last time people ever hear from me, I want to make sure they know what happened. No, I've actually chilled out on them. So we had a guy. Yeah, well, good. <laughs> I thought he said it was funny. Chin takes it every day. Do you really? I've been taking it every day. But then now I'm thinking about stopping for like a few weeks. And see what's happening. Because yeah, everyone's it? telling me like, have you tried stopping? I'm like, I actually haven't tried. <laughs> well, no, so, I take it so like coffee. Some people take it I like, take it like coffee. Oh, you put it in your coffee? No, I take it like coffee, like once or twice. That a means day. he takes it every day. Yeah, but that's day. all that means. Yeah. This is like a drug addict trying to explain. That's like to say, yeah, yeah. He's, no, I, well, you <laughs> drink coffee, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, you take it like you take water. Where do, where do you? How no, do you water take? I it? drink all throughout the day. Yeah. Is it orally? No, like but you take you, you drink water every day. I do. You take kratom every day. I do. So it's like you take. You drink coffee too, right? It's like coffee. I said it's not coffee. That, I mean, that's so see, it's, all it's, the research. It's, it's like I an did. addict's excuse, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, but that's why oh, I'll, give just, it a, I'll give it a couple weeks off just to see what so happens. So, why don't you do a cold turkey right now? I already took some this morning. Wow. <laughs> what you waiting for then? You know, they're like, ah, I'm going to wake up. Why, why don't you do it tomorrow? I mean, yeah. Start so tomorrow. Let's start yeah. tomorrow. Start tomorrow, guy. Be, uh, be honest. And why do you, you just start sweating? If you can't, start sweating. scratching your neck. <laughs> if you can't do it, to, if like if it's struggled, city, yeah. let us know. Chin, I'm actually in some. interested to see what happens. Wow, Chin is suddenly a lab rat for TFAT. <laughs> yeah, bro. I love this, dude. You got to get him on forever. some crazy things. Wait, wait. So you stopped taking it, right? You said. I took it this morning when I walked out. Dude, fuck you guys. <laughs> Bro, bring up another picture of Jeff Van Vondren, please, from Intervention. Dude, we should get Jeff Van Vondren on here. Ask him about Kratom? Well, just to talk about supplements and how people can get addicted to those, I bet he would have a ton of stories. Yeah, he would be fun. Dude, that guy would be amazing, funny a man. a bag full of dicks. <laughs> no, what are you yeah. talking about? He looks different, though. Dude, Holly Holmes fighting this Dude, we week, need to get huh? him on before he dies. Yeah, bro, he is. Well, he just, yeah. I knew he did that. He had that gig with Monopoly for about 20 years, and then <laughs> he was helping people recover from dope. He's going to, I'm sure, run uh, work at the front of a train for about eight months, and then he'll die. <laughs> and that's probably going to be unfortunate. Because all the people in the intervention, all the therapists, are former addicts. Huh? Yeah. They act better than everyone, too. No, they don't. <laughs> yeah, they act like, oh. You, I'm, you, they are better. Yeah, they're only better than people who are addicted. That's it. It's one step No, better. but they throw that shit in their face. I've been there. Look at me. I did it. Oh, look at look at my life. All right, bro. You got a shit suit on. You're obviously here. I don't want that for myself. Dude, they're not bad people. They're helping people change. Yeah, they're cocky lives. about it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what drives me nuts about intervention. They're real cocky about it. Dude, there's a guy shooting heroin into his nose. Okay, <laughs> they gotta be cocky about it, dude. <laughs> Jeez, shit. You gotta be like, cocky when you're gym. dealing with it's those people. It's oh, it did look uh, like here. Like, oh, oh damn! At least like... he's in shape. Oh. Oh. No, I don't like how they throw that shit in all the addicts' face, though. You know what I'm saying? They're not like you got to be willing to cut them off, kick them out of the house, no money. What? Mom, are you ready to do that? It's like fuck, <laughs> no. That's my son, you fuck. And then they all go to a Radisson and have a big free for all in one of the. Why are they always at a Radisson? I don't know. Or they're at like a Ramada Inn. Oh, people Why is get it murdered not nicer? at Ramadas too. Yeah, no, yeah, it's usually at like you're right though. Radisson, Ramada Inn, uh, sometimes Motel Six, depending on the guy. Oh, dude, Motel Six Six Six, bro. People get gunned down at those all the time. Every Ramada time. has the murder rate at Ramada is unbelievable. Well, Ramada, it's either murders or you get your dick sucked. There's no in between. <laughs> Dude, the third floor of Ramada, always closed for murder, bro. Always. There was always a murder. It's always. There's That's no where more. Go. That's where you go. Dude, they had a mint on my pillow one time, I thought. It uh, was a fucking a grammar turd? crack. No. Oh, damn. Great. See, that's a gift. <laughs> I was Depending like, is this right a person? mint? <laughs> this is a I was mint. like, that's is this a, a pillow mint? <laughs> yeah, uh, Chin is a drug addict, though. Were you really? If, no, if he is. is no, he is. is. How long have you been taking Kratom every day? Probably a year and a half. What are we talking about? Damn, dude. But, uh, I always looked at it like coffee. So that's the problem. All People the research get crack I did. like I did all sugar. the research. Believe me, a ton of research because I don't want to take prescription drugs. Right. Because I know those are bad. Right. Yeah. So this is natural. 
And what is it? Natural from what? The it's kratom? A it's a leaf. So is a coca plant. A leaf nobody's <laughs> ever heard of, dude. Yeah. Both of you guys are on kratom, dude. It's like crushed leaf. That's, that's all it is. Bro, that's fucking. You can't take nothing. That's forest in. crack, bro. Yeah. You guys got to get your act together. No, I'm straight. What? You had it today. You I had it. Yesterday, I didn't, though. And the day before, I didn't. Yeah, sure. It looks I like promise. you did, dude. I swear, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. That's probably just the Kratom talking, dude. You guys need to get your act together. Bro, but you can't take nothing as a former addict, huh? I can't take much, dude. Bro, what's crazy is if I'm even around, like a couple of weeks ago, I was like talking to this, uh, oh, I gave a girl a ride up the hill who worked at the comedy store or something. She'd been drinking vodka. You and can I could smell, smell it. it on her fucking breath so strong. And it turned you on? <laughs> I don't know if it turned me on. It made me, it reminded me of like, Luminous. yeah, reminded me of like some busted chicks I'd hooked up with. Your wild days. But it didn't make you thirsty for vodka. No. All I, what I would prefer is cocaine. That was your drug of choice? Dude, I would you order a glass of cocaine if yeah, I could. Yeah, fuck yeah. You oh, I'll nose. kill a gram from, a, from <laughs> fucking deep, bro. Yeah, I'm a bro. Steph Curry of cocaine, Hell bro. Hell yeah. I'm st- that four-point shot. <laughs> so three on three, four five point, shit. Yeah. Um, that was your drug of choice is coke? Yeah, I just liked it, man. And then I'd be at home by myself doing it. And I didn't I didn't even do it for long. And it just happened, like, but it escalated pretty quick. Just coke, though? You never went to anything else? I never smoked any crack. I kind of wish I would have, you know? Just see how it is? Yeah. Just I, I heard is. heroin is the, is the shit. Oh, dude, that's the fucking six flags of drugs, bro. I heard that's it's like going to six flags, but you can stay wherever you are. Yeah, yeah the park, park harp, hopper of yeah. six, six flags. <laughs> yeah, that park yeah. hopper, dude. It's that park hopper drug. <laughs> yeah. It's just get, fun everywhere. Yeah, dude, yeah. Everywhere. It's you not crowding. To, yeah, yeah, it's never crowded. Yeah, that's what I think of heroin. I won't try it, though. But here's the thing, man. Would you try it before you die? You Hell know? yeah. That's what Doug Stanhope says. So he's going to try it right before he dies. Yeah, well, that's because it might kill him. Yeah, I know. Or you're going to be so addicted to it, you know, you're on your deathbed, you're like, damn, that yeah. shit was sick, dad. Yeah. But at least you got to experience it, you know? Dude, if you died on heroin, that might be the way to go. Are you talking about, like, Kurt Cobain or some shit? Yeah, like, I'm just wondering, man, I was thinking the other day, when you die, like, your soul is going to be, like, with all these other souls. Like, there's going to be caveman souls like yeah. there's gonna be souls all throughout time so some souls you'll be t- you'll meet and you'll be like oh this soul's a fucking idiot you right you don't know shit yeah this yeah. soul like there's no books in whatever world we're moving on to yeah and also some of the souls aren't gonna be as enlightened probably no. or maybe they'll be more enlightened if they're from the past true because maybe they've because they can look down on us and they've yeah. learned Maybe like, oh, wow, you guys had so many beautiful elements out in the world, you know, and you guys ended up just, you know, playing Sega, Are, you know, playing Sega. Yeah. Are you religious? I mean, I believe in a higher power, you know, I mean, I'm not fucking out here. Fr- I'm not just work- out here working freelance, bro. You know? Yeah. And then you die and that's it. No, I agree. I'd rather double down on the Lord, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> even if it doesn't exist, what do I lose? I lose nothing. Nothing, I'm bro. at least in the club. Yeah. You ever heard of a hedge fund, dude? That's all this is, bro. <laughs> yeah. This is insurance, really. Life insurance. <laughs> yeah. After life insurance. Yeah. Think after about life it. insurance. After life insurance. Dude, you look like somebody that would sell after life insurance, bro. You look like somebody that hangs out around caskets. <laughs> you know, dude? <laughs> bro, I saw a possum last time oh, in my yeah. backyard and I thought... I can't believe Theo doesn't have one of those. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I swear. It's all possible like that. Yeah. There's certain animals that just go with other people. I'm like, dude, I can yeah. see Theo walk a possum. <laughs> just put my, like, I just raised to stretch in the morning. There's a possum hanging from under my arm. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be surprised if we surprised you at your house with, like, I don't know, some sort of cool breakfast. Yeah. And, like, I woke you up and you had a possum in your bed and dog the bounty on his wife in your fucking sack. <laughs> Bro. So then big tits. <laughs> like, Dude. that would surprise me at all because you're a younger <laughs> version of dog and she's trying to fuck. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> Dude, if I, I couldn't imagine having those big tits, dude, taking that bra off, it would be like doing those TRX bands at the gym. Dude, can you even imagine the pressure you would have to have to push those two bra ends bro, together to get it to snap over? Bro, I don't have the strength. And then that thing whips out, <laughs> takes your fucking eye dude, out. Dude, that's what's impressive about Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh, yeah. Like, he, can, he is, is strong enough.
enough to get those tits out of those cages. Yeah. He's like Sisyphus or whatever. Who's the Greek person who pushes the boulder up the hill but never gets it there? Oh, I don't know. You went too old school, man. Dude, he could fucking put those tits on his back and, and do, do squats. squats. Yeah. yeah, he could deadlift those tits if she'd bend down. Yeah. <laughs> he gets swole. That prison workout with his girl, man. You're right. It is Sisyphus. Sisyphus. There you go, dude. Constantly pushing the rock up the hill. Dude, and this reminds me of one of Joey Diaz's jokes from the other night. He said, uh, oh, he never come harder than when he started uh, eating protein powder and doing squats for two weeks. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> oh, the place was going crazy. They were dying. Man. Oh, it was great. When's it come out? Does he know? I'm not sure. I bet the turnaround's probably a couple of months. You think? Yeah. And they're going to release all six at the same time? Yeah, I think it's just, yeah, it's like called the half hour is how they do it now. Because I think some people get tired of watching an hour. I got to be honest. Some of my favorite comics... I'll watch an hour. And I find myself days in, in and out of yeah. it and then be like, all right, what's he talking about now? And these are my favorite guys. Yeah. Half an hour makes sense. I agree. It's almost like a bit. You just want to see a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And, th- and then also, I think if you're a half an hour, you, if we start gravitating towards more that way, you could have more specials. Yes. Like, damn, Theo dropped three half an hours this year. Yeah. And then also, as a comic, as a businessman, you're getting paid for all three of those specials instead yeah. of just one hour. That's a good point. Dude, I want to start focusing on learning more Spanish, so I can. Uh, I want to do a special uh, in and like just a, Spanish. Yeah, like in Nicaragua or something. My dad's from Nicaragua, so I want to do a special in Nicaragua. Yeah, your dad is not Nicaraguan. I'm. Po- <laughs> uh, we might have to edit that out, dude, because <laughs> Nicaraguan. That's a- that time closer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go one more time, bro. I want to see how racist this ends up. <laughs> Nicaraguan. Whoa, bro. A couple of guys just shut up at the door, dude. Dude, Dude, how do you say it? You can't even speak on Kratom, can you? (laughs) Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, You say it, Nicaragua. Bro, you are not Nicaraguan. (laughs) Yes. Bro, my father's from Bluefields, Nicaragua. I'm Polish Nicaraguan. Who the fuck lied to you? No, you're not. (laughs) Bro, my... uh, You're Hawaiian and from Denver. (laughs) Shut up, bro. (laughs) Beth, get over here, Beth. Okay. (laughs) You're for real, though? Your dad's from Nicaragua? Yeah. I'm Polish Nicaragua, man. Somebody fucked on a boat to make me, bro. Damn, dog. I, yeah. I'm not, in a, I'm not a land baby, host. bro. Boats but that's host. one of my life goals is to learn enough Spanish to be able to do a special in Spanish. I feel like that's going to take too long. <laughs> it's not, bro. Like, you're going to be 70, but you know how hard it is to learn? Uh, so my, my, my girl is Spanish. Her mom, they're straight from Mexico. Like, oh, wow. Oh, my entire house and the TV is Spanish. All, my son understands Spanish better. Really? I've been around it for five years now. <laughs> I don't know shit. I know but nothing. Dude, that's you, bro. That's brain drama. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's brain drama. Dude. I know, I know I can pick up a little bit, but as far as fucking speaking it in a comedy special, <laughs> that ain't for you, son. Bro, any other man whose wife and child uh, speak Spanish would know Spanish, okay? Nope. You're basically people. a babysitter is what you are, dude. <laughs> no, I'm, no I'm a, it's like I'm an immigrant. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm on some work visa. And You're I'm in the Spanish house in your own and I just pay the bills, you know, yeah, just the gringo who pays the bills. <laughs> I don't want fucking tostadas every night, you know, bro. It's getting frustrating. Is it really? No. I'm, I'm but fucking. Latinos have the, I mean, bro, just the way that they took six ingredients, mix them into 900 different ways. Oh, bro. Nobody else Talk about the best at it, right? Well, Everything's talk- the fucking same, just shaped different. <laughs> yeah, the burrito, if you really think about it, it's yeah. a double-decker taco. Yeah. The double-decker taco is a gordita. Yeah. They just added the tortilla to the double-decker. <laughs> it's weird. It's like, what about the new Australian cheese boomerang? <laughs> yeah. You just throw this thing. Aye! And it has like a fucking <laughs> Mexican sound. Bro, there's and still Australian back. Taco Bell? <laughs> bro, that's how they do it, bro. Aye! Yeah. <laughs> You throw it and it comes back and lands right in your baby's jaw. <laughs> Feed the whole family. <laughs> dude. Ay, 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 ay. That, bro, that's right. We might have to edit that. Bro, edit it out, dude. <laughs> Nicaraguans, bro. Dude, you're not Nicaraguan. Bro, I thought Guatemalans when I was growing up was a fruit, bro. So you're talking that's with fair, dude. Though. See, to you, that's fair. And that's why you don't speak Spanish, man. Yeah, you're right, man. But Could you learn you? Spanish? Uh, I took French for four years, advanced French in high school. <laughs> Damn, dude, advanced French. Advanced French. <laughs> Fucking Brennan Shaw, the croissant hunter. Yeah, Doug. <laughs> dude, I could see you at a bakery at night just hunting croissants, bro. <laughs> or making delicious chocolate croissants. Yeah, what a fucking creep. Do you look like the... <laughs> 
You look like the guy who would sell pig in a blanket. Oh, I do look like that you guy. You look like that guy. I definitely look like that dude. I love pig in a blanket. Dude, you look like the biggest dude on the Little League baseball team that's not good at baseball, bro. <laughs> Like, dude, th- good thing we got Ernie, and then you fucking go to the first game, and Ernie fucking sucks, bro. They put him in the outfield, but past the fence, like, dude, just you, to watch the cars. Dude, you look like the, you look like the guy who would have Tic Tacs in his pocket, but not in the box. Oh, just, like, with lint on him. Like, yeah. I guess I'll take one of these mints. Man. You, look, you look like you jack off the who's the boss at night. <laughs> Long as we got each other. <laughs> oh man! Nah, man. Hey, Kratom, man. Bring, bring back the old shows. Why Who's the these, boss? Yeah. Why are these Tic Tacs wearing little <laughs> little sweaters? That's what I want to know. <laughs> well, these <laughs> well, Tic Tacs got a first shelf. <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, I love an orange Tic Tac yeah. though. Man, how good are they? It's not a mint. That's a fucking candy. They make my breath better. I don't know if they make your breath better. They make your mouth orange, and they make you seem like, I think, a, anybody that's eating them on the regular definitely seems like... A little crazy. Yeah. They're who, delicious, though. They're delicious, but that's the problem. You'll eat 14 at once, and people I'll eat the like, whole box at one time. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, yeah, man. It's the best. The yeah. cinnamon aren't bad, either. Mm, I don't do any. The green ones are disgusting. Oh, the green suck, dick. Oh, they're minty, and they're kind of... But see, those are for your breath. But the orange ones are just for fun. <laughs> Yeah, but dude, I feel like you uh, if you're eating those, you probably seem like an adult that's still willing to get molested, you know, to tell somebody you're young. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I, it's, I don't have any friends who eat orange Tic Tacs, uh-uh. like on the regular. I'll eat them at home. I want to eat them out in the wild. And that's where I'll eat them. If someone gave me something like a gift bag or something, I'll eat them, but I'm not going to buy or purchase my own. Fly the fucking W. Are they still the defending champs, Cubs? I have a zero idea. No. Whatever. Who won, dude? The last series? Yeah. The Dodgers, right? Or was it Minnesota? Oh, they won the I don't 20. even know who won. Cubs won 2016. Yeah. Oh. Two, two Dodgers won, ago, dude. They're on roids, too. The Dodgers are. Dude, don't act like you're a Cubs fan now. Go Cubs, go, bro. Dude, Andre Dawson, dude. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Sandberg, son. Mark Sean Grace. Sean Dunstan. What's up? Okay, Mark name Grace. another. Okay, you want Mark Grace? Then I will go Rick Sutcliffe. Oh, shit. All right, getting crazy. Okay. Sammy Sosa. Did he play for him? Look yes. it up, Jim, while I'm thinking that of another one. That was the heyday, Sammy Sosa. He's, oh, Sammy, yeah. seen Sammy Sosa lately? He's white, dude. That was black Sammy. Yeah, he's going pink. <laughs> no, he's white. Yeah, he's like a salmon color now. Yeah, well, I think they're trying to... His uh, Yeah, because I think... He's um, had surgeries. He got that white people surgery. Uh, I wouldn't say that's a white people. Bro, I don't know what that's surgery That's not Sammy is. Sosa, I though. swear it is. I swear. It's from an interview, yeah. What? Look at him and his girl. He's a he's scary now. Wow, what happened to Look him? Look at that. that oh, would, wow. If you saw that in an alley selling you orange Tic Tacs, you would shit your pants. Wow, he looks like an alligator. Do you alligator. think that this is a byproduct of having used steroids and stuff? Absolutely not. They say it's a mental condition how he wants to be white so bad. Oh, really? They say it's white appropriation. I don't believe it. I believe that this could be something from using steroids a lot. It makes you question yourself, makes you feel like you know, alters yourself a little bit. And no, then, I think it's the Michael Jackson thing. I think he, you know, he was born a Cuban black man and was like, wants to be white so bad. He's he wants had to finish these operations. He wants to finish as the Joker. It looks like, <laughs> dude, Michael Jackson was an Asian woman by the time he died. If you go, if you <laughs> want to be real. honest. Yeah. Only person that ever did three races was Jackson. I think you might be right. So Sammy Sosa looked like he looked like turning a toad. <laughs> yeah, that's true, dude. He's turning a human toad. Bro, you fucking lick his uh if you lick his uh <laughs> his back of his neck. Yeah. Yeah. If you lick if you lick the back of his neck, you'll wake up in Beth's tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how crazy is that? One, one just wanted to turn himself white, one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, I, but I would go spend spend my summers up in Illinois and Look I, that fucking picture. Everybody loved the Cubs and they hated the Cardinals. I was just thinking, wow, who is that? What is that? Why where are they? Why <laughs> are they in cowboy thing. gear? It's a beautiful sunset. I'll give them that in the back. These aren't real people, man. Who's no. gonna win that Holly Holm fight, do you think? Uh, against Megan Anderson? Yeah. It's a tough fight, man. Holly should win. She's the favorite, but that Megan Anderson is no joke. I think I picked Megan Anderson on my show. Yeah? But most people think Holly's going to get it done. Holly's lost her last four out of five, though, son. Some suspect wins and losses, but still. 
That's crazy, man. It's a good ass card, man. Yeah, people are pretty excited. Do you think CM Punk has any chance? I do. That Mike Jackson, the photographer. He is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could beat up a photographer, dude. I see it happen all the, every day on TMZ. <laughs> all the time, Bieber hit hit the fuck out of photographer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they don't do shit. So this is very similar. <clears throat> they have a common opponent, and CM Punk lasted longer. Oh yeah. Yeah, they sh- them boys should not be on the main card, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's brave of him from to go from rest. I think I was at the wrestling thing one. Didn't he like it's come out on re- on a WWE event and say he was going to do? I think so. Are you a WWE fan? Um, I, I like some of it, man. You know, I like a lot of the older stuff. I like the guys with the more mental health issues now and stuff. <laughs> yeah, back when they used roids and stuff like that. Yeah, they still do, but probably a different kind now. Higher grade. I don't know, a little more knowledge on it. Like, I feel like Hulk Hogan was taking fucking handfuls of pills and had no, no idea what was going on. Yeah. Do you think that we'll ever get to a place where you can take a pill that will comfortably make your body, like, the same that steroids, you know, did for people 15 years ago? Oh, for sure. Well, there's pills you can take that are steroids. Right. But it's harder on your liver, so that's why people inject it. So do you think there'll be something that'll be easier on your liver? That's what I'm oh, wondering. yeah, I'm sure. I'm like sure. one day we sure could all look now. like he meant. Yeah, I'm sure it's to. out now. Yeah, wow. well, it's not even gonna be a thing where everyone just looks like fucking Yoel Romero. You know, they look like teenage mutant ninja, ninja turtles, just shredded. But do you think that a lot they, of a lot of girls don't like that? I feel like guys only get big for other dudes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like most girls are like, oh, I want him as big and juicy as possible and shredded. <laughs> yeah. No, you're really doing it for other dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At a certain point, yeah, it's kind of a yeah, it is kind of become a. <clears throat> you want to impress your buddies kind of thing. Yeah, you, it's just like an ego, like a big, like I want to be jacked, man. Where If you ask a girl, she's like, mm, not really my thing. Not as much. It used to be more popular. Like the Jersey Shore thing? Yeah, I think be, I think in those areas it's still pretty popular, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm also a weak dude, you know? Like I used to but be pretty not... strapping. Oh, yeah. You know, I used to be jacked, bro, but I... And I loved it, man, you know? I mean, the most I could ever bench was maybe like 245 or something. Okay. But... Uh, but now, dude, I can't even. Uh, the weights just got so heavy. <laughs> they need to make lighter weights. You <laughs> well, know, you can still lift lighter. You know. Yeah, but do I you want, work out? Uh, uh-uh, uh, bro. Never. Not right now, dude. I do yoga, bro. And it's definitely pretty sketchy. You in got there. that tofu body? Oh yeah, soft dick. I can feel my fucking dick getting softer on the sides. Damn, probably <laughs> producing a lot of estrogen and shit. I don't know. You know, your girl's not complaining though, so it don't matter. <clears throat> yeah, you man, look healthy. And I don't do, you know, I'm not a big, I'm not a big sex guy. You know, I like to fucking more just come in my dreams. You know, you don't want to put sweat. You don't want to work out and sweat. I just, I don't. Well, a lot of times people fuck at night. I'm more fuck around maybe Midday. one p.m. Yeah, not now. You know, because I'm at work, but. <laughs> Uh, but I'm, yeah, I'll f- let's fuck during the day. Why is everybody yeah, fucking late at tired. night? Yeah. And then also you get my heart rate up. It's going to be hard for me to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, dude, now I'm all fucking jacked up. I got cum on my stomach. Yeah. Well, on your stomach. Yeah. And I'm supposed to rest, you know, or on, you know, on your, on your, you know, on your lady's leg or whatever, or somewhere in the house. Yeah. I'm with you, man. It makes more sense during the day or mid afternoon to wake me up. And how do you think your semen tired. feels? Yeah. You get tired, dude. Yeah. You look, you already look tired. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I look tired right now. You look, bro, tired, you look like bro. a tall dude, bro. You look tired, <laughs> bro. You look like you look like, fucking... you look like you're talking on the phone all night to your dad, Doug the bounty hunter. You look like telling somebody... you telling you how not to say the n word on today's show, <laughs> <laughs> bro. You look like somebody that, that sleepwalks, um, but is happy about it, dude. That's what you seem like, bro. You're always smiling with your fucking eyes closed. Can you smile and open your eyes at the same time? Bet you you can't, bro. <laughs> Bet you you fucking can't do it. <laughs> do it, bro. Me or Chin can't do it. I, Lee Chin, I, I, neither I, one of you guys there's can. There's no bro. way I can. Dude, no way. I can make y'all laugh and steal everything in this motherfucker. Because <laughs> y'all wouldn't see me, dude. You guys are out of your minds, man. You guys are out of your minds. But, bro, what, what were we just talking about? Uh, how your dad's dog <laughs> <laughs> um, You got some current events, Chin? Yeah, I got a few. Uh, the first one is uh, Miss America's pageant. Did you see this shit, Theo? Yeah. They're saying bye to the swimsuit competition. I mean, no one's watching this bullshit anyways. Right. However, no one- like, how are you going to say it, what we're doing, they're taking advantage of these women when they signed up for a beauty pageant? You know they're getting rid of beauty pageant? They're yeah. calling it beauty competition. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, but what if, what if some of these young ladies... 
like that was their strength being a bikini. And they're like, well, now no, we're going to be more relied on their talent and personality. All right. So you're talking about a shitty fucking America's got talent. That's yeah. what was, I'm not watching that. I didn't right. watch in the first place, but I'm sure as fuck not watching these hoes play fucking a spelling bee now. Like it is what it is. Yeah. I don't want to watch Tanya juggle. You know what I'm saying? Like you wa- and, and what about the girls that have trained for this for so long? You're gonna take saying. that away from them? Oh, what, what what happens to the bad bitches who are bodied up and they're like, wait till this bikini thing? Oh, oh, you gave that good answer in the beginning about American politics. Wait till we get the bikini. That's my shit. Yeah, you get these tits and ass out. We'll see what's up, Jamie. Yeah, yeah. And then now that's gone. Yeah. And now this bitch has to learn to juggle. Yeah, well, you- she has to learn some sort of trait she doesn't have. And yeah. So we get a half-ass product. This is like CM Punk and Mike Jackson fighting the UFC. <laughs> really? Yes. It's a bad product. <laughs> is it? Yes. Yeah. Well, I know CM Punk's a wrestler. What is Mike Jackson? He's a photographer, you said? Yeah, yeah he's a photographer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he's have, not like a painter, huh? <laughs> no. I'd be more concerned for CM Punk if he was a painter. <laughs> oh, damn, yeah. yeah. But you got a photographer versus a guy with zero, zero experience. Oh, dude, but you got them flashbulbs. What he hits with that fucking flashbulb and stuns <laughs> My, him. And then fucking uh, trigger finger, and son? then develop some. That's his finishing move. Is the develop the developer? <laughs> yeah, the developer, dude. The dark next thing you know, developer. CM Punk's just fucking laying there, just you know, in a sixteen by twenty fucking leg lock. I don't think you ever see any of those gentlemen fight again. <laughs> just like you never even see most of these girls compete in this competition. Or, I think it's fucked up. Oh, okay. I also think it's uh, here's what I don't like. I don't think like it's that we make it. Oh, a woman can't be pretty. That that's a bad thing, you know. I agree. There's this thing where it's just ugly women writing articles saying that that because they like to write that they that they want to bring everything down that's about looks. I don't think it's fair, you know. I don't think it's fair at all. Like no one's <clears throat> forcing these girls to enter a beauty competition. No one is. They enter it because they look a certain way that is appeasing to their to people's eyes. Yes. And then they want to be like, I'm so appeasing, maybe I can win some shit. Yes. Against other very pretty women. They're like, no, let's make this more about brains. Well, well, I'll watch a spelling bee. Yeah. Then go on Jeopardy, but I'll, I'll go on a beauty competition. Yeah. Or I'll watch Spellbound, you know, and, and imagine the kids are, you know, wearing swimsuits towards yes. the end. Yes. But here's the thing you could get, though. You, know, you could get women who aren't maybe some of the wisest ladies doing unique talents all of a sudden because they have to learn a talent on the fly. That'd be so terrible to watch. Oh, it'd be terrible. Or put helmets be on. Great. Or I'd I'd put them in their bikini and put helmets on and have them ram into each other like Rams. <laughs> oh yeah. And then see who just kind of no, gets up. We, that, you want ratings or not, bro? <laughs> but I would love to see a chick who just learned how to do the shell game. You know that thing yeah, like it's over here, it's over here. Yeah, you know? or some like shitty magic. Yeah, you can see her like hiding the card. <laughs> yeah, that would be, be so funny. Good. What else? But you got also, to? the thing for me is this was like the reason you have all the different things is it doesn't just go to the prettiest girl and it doesn't just go to, I think people are more accepting of all types of body types these days. And you could still have a bigger girl or a more Ruben esque lady in a swimsuit who gives a fucking dynamite answer who, who made herself look nice in the swimsuit who fucking wins the thing. Yeah. Like Beth could win this thing. Put her tits in a bikini could, top. And I, and I bet people would like to see Beth. I, no joke. <laughs> You'd rip that answer and be sick. Bro. America. Yeah. Be- America. Oh, America is her answer? America. Yeah. What do you feel about the foreign exchange program and the underserving and kids are starving and people to the moon for the first time and, she and everyone? She flops one of those tits on the table. Yeah. America. America. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Play shuts yeah. down. Checkmate, dude. Wins. Checkmate, What else you chin? All right. This is a paraglider. Oh, I thought that was a guy stuck in a lawnmower. So he paraglided and fell into a forest, and then check out what got jammed. This is on Barstool. Into his shoulder. Oh. An entire tree branch. Like, the the thick part of a tree branch. That's real. Damn, that's that's so RoboCop. And the guy, he was, like, having fun with it. Check this thing out. They blurred the images, of course. How is he not just, like, passing out? Dude, see, he's tough as hell. Is that Kratom? <laughs> Maybe. He might be on Kratom. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. Yeah, he might be on Kratom. I love that, I'm saying. Dude, how crazy. This is, see, this is going to, all these kids are going to start doing this now, putting wood into their bodies and putting tree limbs into their bodies. <laughs> Dude, that must have hurt like a motherfucker. Ah, uh, yeah, they have that one thing where that guy got hit by that javelin, and that looks scary. Where? And one of my buddies was running one time in a Japanese restaurant because somebody said it was on fire and fell on a <laughs> chopstick. What? And it fucking lodged right between two of his ribs. What's the worst injury you've ever had? Mm, 
Oh, I don't know. Probably most of my, uh, let me think. Um, oh, dude, when I was born or whenever I was like a child, I had a, my wiener hole was too <sighs> small and they had to cut it to be what? bigger, bro. Dude, no joke, bro. I could fucking piss and wash your teeth from here, Chin. <laughs> Not even joking, dude. And I wouldn't do but that. It would to look you. like a Chinese star. Yeah. Like it looks I've like never a done star. anything like that. But I'm just it saying, it looks like a star coming out. Like you're a starfish dick. <laughs> no, it's not a fucking starfish. It's a fucking little. I know, hole. but your hole is like a starfish because that makes slits. Oh no! Oh no! Well, no, they didn't fucking turn it into like a fucking fancy shape. But after they, <laughs> it's like just a cookie cutter. Yeah, yeah it's like a, a star cookie yeah. cutter. That's how you piss. Yeah. It's not like I'm pissing a Christmas tree or a jingle bell shape. <laughs> Um, no, it just was so small that when I would pee, it would just shoot. <laughs> and there's some syndrome it's called where they have to make it larger. So I remember going into the hospital. How old? Mm, probably seven. Damn, bro. You can fix it earlier than that so you don't remember? I think we didn't have insurance or something, you know, so you had to just fucking piss far for a long time. Damn. So you went in and got that dick done? Dude, you I got could. got a dick job? <laughs> I guess I did, bro, but just the job. tip. Just the tip. Dude, yeah, urethral stricture treatment. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro. You were born in a small dick hole. <laughs> yeah. It, did it hurt when you peed? Big dick baby hole. That's what they call me at school, baby hole. Damn. Oh, did it hurt when I peed? That's the problem. It started to hurt. Because mm. I had a lot of horsepower trying to come through that little hole. Oh. Dude, it was like trying to get a million people just into an anthill, you know? Oh. Damn. Yeah, man. And it would, I mean, I could fucking, I mean, yeah. You could probably take you could a spray. Oh yeah, but not you like, had super soaker dick. Like you, if if say if I did it on you, you would feel like somebody was just gleeking on you. Like it was the lightest stream, bro. That sounds kind of nice. So it would take me seven, eight minutes to piss. You know. Oh my god, exhausting. I hated it, dude. And then the crazy thing was, I developed this thing. I was urine. I wet the bed. I was almost probably thirty-one. <laughs> Damn, because of that? I, I just had severe anxiety. I would just, like, in my sleep, I would just be super nervous, and then I would just urinate mm. a, so much, bro. When I was young, I remember I'd wet the bed three times in the same night. I'd have to get up, change my sheets. Yeah, he had some problems as a child. Oh, it was, that was exhausting. I think I was exhausted by the time I was probably 11. You looked <clears> tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But nothing like you were fucking tired from life, dog. <laughs> nothing tired, like... tired from pissing <laughs> yeah. the bed nonstop. Oh, dude, I was working nights. I felt like <laughs> no, you were. You have no time off. Oh, I had a job. You're at the... pissing every other fucking <laughs> minute in bed with your starfish dick. You get no rest. <laughs> dude, thank God it's fixed, yeah. man. Thank God, but they say it can flare up again, bro. But oh, I'm I ready hope now. Not. You're probably shooting ropes like <laughs> silly string. <laughs> Dude, you could definitely, bro, you could wash somebody's earlobe from about 11 feet away. <laughs> bro. <Just> t- <laughs> yeah, dude, so light, too. They would think maybe just, uh, you know, like a, just like the, a small, like a tall insect came on them off of a tree branch. Like a hummingbird was spitting on them <laughs> yeah, or some yeah. shit. What else yeah, you got, Jim? Like a hummingbird just gleeked on their elbow. <laughs> uh, quick MMA one. Dana White was talking about getting rid of the early morning weigh-ins. And going with the regular ceremonial ones, but so that, those pe- would be the official way inside. Because so later. many people are missing it. Yeah, yeah, they obviously have a problem. And why are people missing it? Can you tell me that? Because I don't know. That's why I'm asking. <clears throat> See, so mm-hmm. appearing on UFC Unfiltered podcast. Shout out to uh, Matt, Sarah, and uh, Jim Norton. Love those guys. White was asked if early wins were to blame for the weight problems his fighters have been having. He agreed that there's a clear connection, and he announced the promotion is looking at implementing later wins again. Yes, I do think it's that. And guess what? We're getting rid of it. We're looking at taking the weigh-ins back to the way they used to be. So when the guys weigh in there uh, at the ceremonial weigh-ins, that will be it. That will be the real weigh-in. Bro, can you fucking read any faster? Jesus <laughs> Christ, <laughs> man. I can read, bro. Welcome. My bad. Damn, bro. I know. I every teleprompter and shit this day and age on TV, son. Well, Chin could have also made the print a little bit bigger. He does, he, he does no justice. I like, have to like squint. What is that? A nine font? Dude? I don't know. Is that bro. Helvetica? <laughs> yeah. You got this dude reason with those fucking eyes, bro. I know. And man. you know what he's going I know. through. I know. And you got him <laughs> reading at eleven feet away. I know, bro. Be like, help a brother out, man. A you Helvetica nine that's with that, italics. That's that like. kratom withdrawal. Oh, yeah, dude. Like he didn't get all of it. Like, like Chin, is your mouth watering because this is over here? <laughs> yeah. Shake the bottle, bro. <laughs> Look and watch him sweat. I'm about to yeah. fuck paying you in cash. I'm just paying Kratom, Chin. Dude, I'm I hope just... you get so addicted. You're just like, bro, I need another bottle. I'm like, there you go. There's fucking July. I'll this payment. 
Done. Bro, let, let us put a couple of them up your ass right now, bro. Those no. depositories. Yeah, that would be you, scary. You really want to get high or no. not, bro? Straight to the brain, bro. Mm. That should have turned you inside out now. Yeah, dude. You'll yeah. Be, your fucking arms will grow, dog. Yeah, you, you know think when that kratom in your fucking tea in the morning, whatever, is fun. <laughs> Put that shit in your ass, little chin if you're trying to get yeah. wild. No. Hide nine grams in your ass, your fucking arms will grow. You'll be able to hug your whole family at one, yeah, one yeah. scoop. You had to grow like oh, Bobby's world. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you'll be fucking, dude. You, you'll be doing anything you want to do, bro. Think you'll of be something. the headbutt champ, too. Yeah, think of something. You'll be doing it. You'll be the headbutt think champion of anything, of the world. you'll be doing it. Yeah. Dude, that's what you should do in China. You should get a kimono. And fucking just wear sandals and stick them up your asshole okay. and then just fucking what? go nuts, bro. What? Yeah. That doesn't sound like going nuts. You well go yeah. nuts. Dude, the fucking thing is that whenever you don't dr- do drugs or alcohol, you got to cr- do crazy shit. That's you know? what I'm saying. Kratom, they say, isn't a drug. So you put that in your asshole, you show everyone your starfish dick. <laughs> China, you're making bank. Dude, they had, this, they had this guy growing up, Walter or Mr. Walter, people called him, but I don't even know. I don't think it matters what you called him, really, because he would he would give us twenty bucks to look at his asshole from like forty feet away from him. Weird. How crazy is that? He had a hairy asshole. Oh, I don't know. I was a kid, man. You I'm don't want to make bank, bro? <laughs> oh, I'd make the money. We got the money. Oh, so you remember? So you saw it a few times, but from forty feet away, you can't see it that good. Yeah, it just looks like a one eye. <laughs> yeah. It's like a dark hole, bro. And he'd play brown eyed girl on the his car stereo while we do it. Wow, how crazy is that? Damn, you're lucky he didn't touch you or nothing. Yeah, he wasn't like that. He wasn't brave like that. He was just kind of chill. and He had cash, though. He'd do it on Fridays when he got paid, or he already said cash. When did he do it? You know when he would do it? He would do it on days whenever we were kids were supposed to be at school, but there was like a parent-teacher or something, so all kids were home. Oh, doing like Labor Day and shit. Yeah, he'd do it like on weird days like that, when your parents maybe still had to work, but you... Like Columbus Day. But you were home, yeah. Columbus Day. Like, you knew if it was Columbus Day, you were still at that man's ass. <laughs> but you're but making far bang, away. bro. Oh, do you get slurpees, whatever that this money? Is Twenty bucks and ninety one. Bro. Oh, bro, balling! I if I had if I remember my mom give me ten dollars cash sometimes. I'd walk up with my brother to Brunswick. It was a bowling alley, and I would get French fries from there. And I'd walk over to Seven Eleven and get myself a nice cold Coke or Dr Pepper Damn, or a Fresca. What? Usually a Fresca. And fr- yeah, bro. I would get Fresca and fries, bro. And then you wow. know what else I'd do? I'd get... Come out the closet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's obviously a... Uh, a fresco and fries? That's a come out the closet nah, curly, meal. F- f- curly fries, bro. But, oh, damn, Yeah, dude. dude when's the last time you had curly hey, fries? Hey, I'd eat regular fries, but uh, why don't you fucking curl them <laughs> so they go with like, fresca? <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah, I know. It sounds like a suck in your dick <laughs> yeah, meal, yeah. but it's not, bro. What'd you do for dessert? Suck your own dick? <laughs> That sounds horrible, man. You finish it off by sucking dick. Hey, wow, no, you know what I would do? I'd go, I'd go, I'd go to Seven Eleven and go to. I'd get Doritos, right? And then I'd go to the nacho cheese. I'd dump nacho cheese in the Doritos. You ever had Doritos with nacho yeah. cheese on it? Then you haven't fucking lived, Theo. Bro, how you are haven't you? fucking lived, bro. Dude. You got that starfish dick. You're doing nothing with it. You're doing nothing with it. Bro, you have a Mexican wife and daughter and refuse to learn Spanish. Okay? But yeah, you'll come home with nacho cheese on your Doritos. That's bro. when I was a kid, bro. Yeah. I was nine. Bro, you cared more about assimilating then than you do now, man. How's that Mexican? Doritos and nacho cheese is not Mexican. There's something Mexican super Mexican skin. about it. Oh, wow. That's racist, bro. I don't think it is. I it, think now, Mex- if I said I put lime all over the top of them, that would be racist. It's called limon, okay? <laughs> Get your fucking family tight. Bro. Jesus. I'm telling you, man, you're just being lazy not making money what? off that dick. What? what else you got, Chin? Uh, just as a follow-up on an MMA one. That girl, Andrea Lee, who has a husband who is also her coach mm-hmm. that has... Nazi tattoos on his arm. They just found everyone just found out recently through a picture. This I picture right that. here, and then uh, so he initially was saying like he would not cover it up because even though he's past all that, he he looks at it as like a reminder of who he was when he was that young and right. did it. That, that's a lie. Yeah. So now after all this backlash, everyone is saying like, why aren't you covering it up? Apparently, he's saying she's saying that he'll cover it up if it the tattoo artist can make it look less trashier than it is. Right. What do you think? It's all excuses. That? Now, what I some people reach out to me on uh, in my DMs, send them DMs, mm-hmm. and they were saying that if you get those and you cover them up, those other people who are in that group that will find you and fuck you up. Oh, so it's more of a said that. It's oh, more. No. Yeah. You sh- well, I don't know That'd how you should deal with it, but they were saying like once you're in that club, if you do disrespect that stuff and they find out, they fuck. They come like it's more of a fear based thing, right? Which I don't know if I buy that excuse either. I don't know that underworld. You probably do, Theo, but um, <laughs> uh, you got to cover them up. 
or just wear long sleeves like a fat kid at the pool. Dude, you can't. First of all, I know this. I know the gentleman is from Louisiana, I believe. So you can't wear long sleeves down there. <clears throat> you know, so you'll die. Mm-hmm. And uh, but second of all, if it's part of his past, like what are we get? You know, SS and uh, swastika. I agree. Nazi symbol. Look, I agree. It's bad stuff. But here's the thing: he probably was a dumb kid 20. who didn't know anything about it. I bet he knew it had. You know, now if he know if he's all anti semitical and that kind of shit, that's one thing. If he's a dumb kid that was in a fucking got into a gang because he didn't have any parents, he was in prison. And, oh, okay, he got in prison, so in he, got to, prison, he got to join a group. And he they made him, or you know, he felt like he had to do that to, to survive. survive. But once you cover him as a grown man, right? As a like, sur- it, like if I have tattoos and I've had tattoos covered, not because they're racist shit, just because they're terrible, right? And like, say, if you had anything on your arm that would offend anyone. As a comic or anyone, don't you think you would cover it? Right. So at this point in life, yeah, I would, I would he's get it 40. adjusted. He's forty, yeah. and he's the head coach of his wife or girl yeah. who just got to the UFC, and now everyone's talking about his dumb ass instead of her. Right. And what all you got to do is cover him. And if I'm the UFC, I'm not letting him corner. Right. I'm going, you, bro, you got to cover those up. And if I'm you, uh, Reebok, I'm like, we can't give you a fight kit. Wear this blank one. Right. Yeah, wear this. Uh, yeah, wear a fucking onesie. Here's a white one. Here's a hood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wear a onesie. Yeah, he should. He should get them adjusted, right? But I think that you got to give like, you know, at least just understand his story. I think there has to be some understanding of his story. Unless he's a fucking anti-Semitical weirdo, then you just can't. I feel like if you leave those, there has to be some. You got to touch a touch of racism in you, right? If you leave, if you continue to leave it on. Like that's a good point. Them. Like there's something going on. There. Okay, yeah. If you flaunt them, then yeah, there's something going on there. Which then that goes back to the if you're like anti-Semitical man, you just can't do that. You can't. You can't just can't. I don't look at that. I don't look people. at that picture and go, Nah, they're not racist. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's, man. It's but see, I'm from you know I'm from an area like that, and not everybody's racist. But, but do they have swastika tattoos? Great point. If I did see somebody with that, I'd be like, and that SS dude is tattoos? Hella questionable. And what is SS tattoos? <laughs> SS, <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> Nazis. SS, SS what? The SS. The shit? That's what they call, no, SS is what they called the Nazis. SS. Uh, Schustafel. Oh, the Schustafel? Yeah. Yeah, but it stands for uh, Satan. Is it? That's what it is right here. I thought it was. Schustafel. No, but it, 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 there's uh, the SS, uh, it stands for something. Schustafel. Oh, wow. I didn't realize all that. Yeah, well, if he's got all of that shit, then, man, you got to tighten up. You got to tighten up. Just you got to tighten him. up. Just, if he, but if you just cover him, everyone's like, oh, good, man. But then, uh, like I said, people are DMing me going, dude, it doesn't really work. Like, if he covers him, then he has to worry about his safety. Well, then, and see, then that's why I'd love for him to say, look, the reason that I got these is because this is what was on the line for me. Correct. I didn't have a choice. This and if it, you know, and then it, you know, if you don't understand that, who's not going to understand that? Every I feel like Jewish people would because they that's what happened to them. If he, if he was like, yo, I had to get him for my safety. Safety. I listen when in, I'd say yeah. in prison, there's groups and you got to join a group because if you're on your own, you're gonna get fucked in the ass a yeah. ton. So I signed with the you know with the white supremacists. I had to get these tattoos in order for my protection. I'm a grown man now. Should probably get him covered. But I'm told if I get him covered, they're going to come find me and fuck up me and my family. So I can't do that either. I'm just going to wear long sleeves from now on. Yeah. I'm a different man. There you go. That's good. Yep. I like that. I think that that makes sense. But I think he should explain. I mean, I think there's an opportunity for some learning here. So he should explain. If that's the truth. If that's who, the who truth. knows if people DM me are telling the truth. He could also be like, look, I got... I chose to get him at a time of life. I didn't even I had no idea what they meant. You but know? also, are the white supremacists like, well, let's see if he removed them. Oh, well, he still has them. He's yeah. safe with us. Yeah, that's true. Don't they have other race shit to do. But I think that, yeah, I think it's a good opportunity for him, if he gives a fuck, to shed some light on some stuff and help people learn, like, why people do that kind of stuff yeah, or what happened. Right. And then also in the end, like how many guys have the the, cover them up? Obviously, it's not race. How many guys have the the cobweb tattoo on their forearm somewhere? Because that usually means you've been in prison. Really? That's what it symbolizes. Mm. Yeah, you did. I thought that meant you were a chimney sweep. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) Damn. Nope. It's like it's, you know. Pretty common tattoo for prisons. Yeah, it means because I'll see those dudes and be like, "Man, how's the soot going?" (laughs) (laughs) What else? How's the soot game? Uh, Are you guys fans of John Wick, the Keanu Reeves movie? 
I don't. Nah. No? All right, we'll move on from that one. That. There's part three or some shit? Yeah, part three's coming out next year. Don't with... give a fuck. <laughs> People <laughs> love it, though. People Did do he kill it. anyone because his dog died? Yeah, that's yeah. how it started. Schlitz and stuff. Um, but yeah, you can't just blindly hit a group anymore for no reason. No, you saw on the Nazis, though? Yeah. Well, it just makes me think you can't, you just, like, that's just such an old idea, mm-hmm. you know? It's like there's no, Yeah. you can't do it. Well, there's neo-Nazis, but yeah. What else you got, Jen? All right, there was talk about Jared Leto being in a Joker movie all by himself, mm-hmm. starring it. So that is apparently confirmed now. Wow. And there's also another movie where Joker is going to be played by Joaquin Phoenix and Martin Scorsese is going to be directing it. So those movie, those movie, both of those movies are coming out around the same time. That's my boy's Double movie. Joker movies? Yeah, That's two the, different Joker the movies. The one uh, Joaquin Phoenix is playing is the is pure fire. My, my boy's the agent for the directors and that. And it's, you said it's amazing? These boots Boy. are made for Joaquin, dude. I always want to open up a shoe store. I'm a Joaquin boots are made fan. For Joaquin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joaquin could, Joaquin. That motherfucker can act his ass off. Bro, he could act, dude. If he, he could be whatever he wanted. He could be an animal, I bet. I bet if they let him grow his hair out around his eyes and over his nose and over his whole body. He could trick you into thinking he's like a lion. An animal or like, like a, a lion that had lion. been hit by lightning. Yeah, yeah, like a real actual lion. Yeah. Yeah, I bet And that. people for years would be like, oh, yeah, we got this endangered lion <laughs> You know, Dude. he goes by the name of Jackie. And Dude. secretly he's winking that it's Joaquin. <laughs> I can't get enough of, uh, I'm, I'm down for Jared Leto and Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, Joker double movies. jokers. Yeah, I'm down. Let's have a Joker off. They should start doing that with movies where they come out with two movies at the same time. See which one you like more? Mm. And Different yeah, directors. one of them wins. Mm. And the other one has to fucking go it's kinda home. It's kind of what they did with Spider-Man, right? There's been three versions of Spider-Man. Mm. The new one sucks ass. Well, Spider-Man. So, Tobey Maguire was Spider-Man to me as a kid. Yeah. And Spider Man, he ain't I like doing much. Too. You're fucking swinging around the city with some fucking silk. In love with a redhead? Yeah, dude. That's like every. I mean, yeah. It, you're basically you're basically just a haberdasher. And you're still somebody broke. that makes suits. And, and how about and, he's still broke? Yeah. How about he's like a college kid or something? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. You're the only Super Bowl who's broke all the time. And you can't change your clothes legally in a phone booth anymore. No. So <laughs> there's no you'll phone go to booth jail. to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Superman, but I hear you. <clears throat> Yeah, but sometimes they steal each other's, like, changing my ideas. I love the joke, though. What else you got, Jen? Another movie coming out. The the finishing last final Friday is coming out. You like the Fridays? Yeah, like... I uh, can't get enough of them. Really? I love all three of them. I think this one's going to suck dick, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, this one, it's a, a, it's way too late. And Tucker's not a part of it, apparently. Yeah, but Tucker. is Mike Epps? Mike Epps is, yeah. Oh, Epps Mike is Epps is in the though. last two. Mm-hmm. So that's all you care about. <laughs> Chris Tucker, you know, he got famous off the first Friday and said, peace. Yeah. When did Rush Hour and kind of blew up. Yeah, and then he disappeared, really. He got thick. Kind of. Thick, yeah. He looked like he got stung by a whole bunch of Fat bees. Chris Tucker. <laughs> yeah, he got stung. He got stung by that urban sugar. Uh, that <laughs> he ur- got stung by them hornets. There's <laughs> that, a big difference. Those urban sugar hornets, dude. Them, them hornets with the abs. Well, black people don't do super well with a lot of sugar. You know, it's like it's like white people don't do well with a lot of sunlight. It's like everybody has their arch nemesis. Yeah. You know? White people and gluten, I think. Yeah, some sh- lay- lame white people can't handle gluten. Yeah, I thrive you know? off of it. You do? Yeah. Yeah. You seem like a fucking dude who has <laughs> rolled oats in his fucking cheeks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <you know>? yeah. <laughs> Are you a fan of Friday, Chin? The first one I loved. Yeah, actually, the first one and second the one. The second one's then great. After that, and I they go to Rancho Cucamongo. Yeah. With the cholos and everything. Yeah. That was, the third that was one's awesome. great, too. I didn't like the third one. Oh, I love the yeah. third one. The third one with... Uh, w- weren't they security guards in the third one? They're security guards, but yeah. that remember uh, Homeboy's in it. The fucking... The, the pimp. Oh, come on. Famous comedian. Who? The big, big, um, no, the dude. small guy. Pimp, 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 Oh, pimp, shoot. Pimp. Oh, Cat Wheel. Cat, Cat Williams. Yeah, there you go. He's the best. He's in this one? He was in the third one. He should be in all of them. Cat yeah. Williams should just be <laughs> a reality awesome. show. Oh, and, and then also, uh, who's the Homeboy, the big black dude who was saying that um, he got sexually harassed, the Me Too movement? Someone oh yeah, Rawl. Uh, What's the big, big Larry R- Donnell Rawlings? No, 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 you're talking about the Old Spice, sh- uh, not the Old Spice, the Old Spice guy. You're oh, right. Terry Crews, Terry, Terry, Terry Crews, yeah, yeah, Terry Crews. Somebody grabbed his dick. Yeah, and he was like, <laughs> I feel offended. All this shit. Joey whatever. Diaz yeah. talked about that on his special. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a great bit. <laughs> but with uh, Terry Crews, he was great in that, and he's gay. What is this? He's out of prison. That's kratom. <laughs> Just it's sit on everywhere. the table. Yeah, you want some? 
What, bro? You keep asking about it, bro. You want some or not? Just take it. Well, bro. I just noticed that there's a bunch of it on a table. A lot of pills. <laughs> I think I don't know where those came from. I think Chin was sniffing them. I know, dude. Yeah. Dude, I bust a gram guys. up, Chin. <laughs> I'll watch an Asian. i watch an Asian guy do some kratom. Yeah, me too. You know, I'd watch that on the YouTube. Shit, me. We'll get a bunch of these. You sniff that shit up. That <laughs> know, nose, bro. Chin. Are you packing them in your lip like chew or some shit, Chin? Sometimes. I think this is going to be bad though, and I just it's he, too yeah, dude. One of the things I have about I'll TV, watch it. It, oh, television's too clear these days. You notice that? People look busted. You can see their makeup and yeah. shit, the HD. It's way too clear. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, you lose the the illusion that it's not real. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. You know? Um, and I don't know why that they haven't figured out that people don't like it that clear. When you can see it just, like, clearer than real life, it it almost doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fun anymore. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't seem fun anymore. It's the, like you, the I, frame rates. And, you know, that's why soap operas look the way they look. It's just too clear, and everyone's moving too normally. Yeah. Like, it's you're, you're in the room with them. People don't like that. No, I don't like that. Too. Yeah, and why don't they realize that, that people don't like that? Dude, I watched Dances with Wolves the other day in yeah. 4K or something. Dude, it looked like... Goddamn 4K? Bro, it, was, it looked like, uh, you know, a bunch of people just camping in fucking um, <laughs> Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, it's, An it's too much. It's too much, man. <laughs> yeah. I agree, it's too much. Like, I yeah. watch some of those sitcoms and shit and on NBC or ABC, and it's, I mean, you can tell the makeup's cake. Yeah, that's on. gross. And it's all tightly shot now. They don't let anybody really do any acting. It's just like, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, all edited. It's Down all gotten green. so bad, man. That's why we see. What else here. you got, Chin? Uh, this one, it's not a big here deal. Okay. You got a bounce out? What time is it? 2.15. God, when you and I get on, man, we go hard in the paint. All right, here's yeah, the last one, because this is in China. Yeah, we do, man. This is in China. This is in China, so this is for you. Oh, a crayfish yeah. removed his claw to escape a hot pot. But if you look at it, it's not that crazy, so I'll show you real quick. It looks like he's being grabbed, right, by other crawfish? Right. Then he goes, he goes screw this, I'm going to take my own claw off. So he takes it off here, boom, and then he wow. bounces. Oh, wow. But there's no other things grabbing him so that could be down in that sauce you don't know what's in that sauce (laughs) true hold up this is a crawl dad which you you made a ton of those huh you suck the heads drink the tails (laughs) Mm, yeah sometimes i'll switch the idea up too depending on how i'm feeling yeah um but hold on so he's in that sauce boiling water right there boiling sauce and he just ripped his own hand off to get away yeah maybe if something was wrong with his arm yeah maybe could feel like the 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 meat separated from their arm he's like i need to get this shit off maybe he had gout (laughs) <laughs> never you never know dude i'd get gout too if i'm in that big pot of salty water maybe he's on that kratom you do crazy <laughs> shit yeah bro maybe he's on that kratom bro. that's that kratom Crawfish tendencies kratom. maybe that's that crawl kratom bro that sometimes, kratom pit. sometimes chin will take a shitload of kratom and then start playing the guitar really in the mm. dark and that's where gar brooks comes out oh, yeah dude gar I brooks good ideas dude yeah. let's give chin some kratom and see if he pulls both of his fucking arms off <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome <laughs> No. Dude, they had to do with no arms in my neighborhood growing up. Used to fight everybody, bro. You kick him right like a uh, clawless cat. No, he would snatch him in his neck and then Oof, choke him out. I've seen that. <laughs> like a fucking snake, brother's boy Gert. Gert it um, up. Is that it, Chin? That's it. Yeah, dude. I'm. T- I'm going to be in Chicago too. I'm telling you guys now. You doing stand up in Chicago? Yep. When? August August 16th, 17th, and 18th. Where at? At Laugh Factory. Laugh Factory. Yep. So I'm excited. I'm going to Raleigh in a few weeks. I'm excited about that. You and I are doing a show together. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think July 18th. 18th yep. At comedy the, store. At the comedy store. Wow. Theo and I yeah, together. Be dope. We may stack other people on it. We'll put other people on it for sure. But Yeah, but we're going to go do it. It's going to be fun. Theo and Shab show. Maybe the we'll rat, have Chin out there. The Rat King. I'll definitely The be Rat there. King and the Beast thing. Yeah, the Rat King and the, the Beast King thing, The Bee King and the Rat King putting a show on at the comedy store. Bring your fucking EpiPen, bro, and throw him at fucking Shab when he's yeah, on stage, bro. Yeah, bro. Bring him. And also... <laughs> Bring your kratom too. Let's get let's get loose in that bitch. Oh, dude, bro. Let's bring uh, Chin on stage and have him just suck kratom through his asshole. What? I'll do it then. No, bro. He said I'll That's do the it. One bro. Time I'll do it and what? play the guitar. You guys need help, man. Yeah, bro. No, let's just see Chin pull off one of his fucking arms, dude. No. Yeah, that'd be cool too. Like pull off his hand. Yeah, let's enter him in the Miss America pageant, and that's his special talent. <laughs> Takes his hand yeah. off. He swallows two kratom, throws his arm, leaves it on stage. No, but, yeah, yeah, you should do that. Yeah, you should do that. Gang, so gang, you, you, bro. You'll be in Chicago. The champ. Yeah, I'll be in Chicago. Where else? I'm going to be in Raleigh coming up in a, in about a month. Um, Toronto. I'll be at the Just for Laughs Film Festival. Go get those tickets and uh, and pick me as one of the acts you want to see. For sure. They, they and then, are that, you going to be? Uh, are you in town next week? 
Yeah, I'll be in town next week. I'm going to Oklahoma this week. Next week, um, no. Nah. The 15th? The 15th, let me see. Wow, where are you going to be? You got a show? Yeah, come do a set at the Ice House with me. Oh, really? Yeah. I'd love that. Let's man. do it, brother. I love it out there. The 15th, I'll be at, uh, damn. Oh, I'll be in Calgary. You making shit up right now? No. <laughs> I no, will be in Calgary. Oh, shit, man. I'll be in uh, uh, Iran. My bad. My will bad. you? No, that's what you said. Oh, shit. I'll be here the 15th, and you look down. Wait, yeah, do a statement. Ah, oh, fuck, man. I'm in the Congo on the 15th. I thought you meant September. Dude, I got, I'll be in the Congo uh, scoring more Kratom for you freaking crazy. <laughs> Scraping dude. out the trees, dog. Dude, we she should, needs that. Let's get like a rare element and see if we can uh, put a pill in it. Yeah, make it into something dope. Like what, though? I don't know. Like There's got to por- be something. Like porcupine blood. Yeah. <laughs> something that makes your fucking neck feel real, real loose. Imagine something that made your neck weak and you had to hold your fucking head up like this while you're talking to people. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> By your hair? Yeah, people are like, damn, are you about to pull your hair out? I'm like, nah, nah motherfucker. My neck is twisted. <laughs> my though. neck is done. But I feel good. Yeah. I still want to be able to fucking pay attention. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go see Theo next week. Uh, is it next week in Chicago? Uh, August 16th, 17th, 18th in Chicago. Next oh, yeah, week I'll be time. in Calgary. This week Yuck we already us. sold out in Oklahoma this week. Oh, Oklahoma works. West you know, Salem Springs. That's yeah. where I'm at, dog. Really? But I'm not, I'm there July 7th. Oh, nice, man. I'm, doing, I'm slaying some jokes and you can watch the UFC fights with me. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, July that's a 7th. fun thing. Yeah. Dude, because they probably got a nice setup there to watch the, the fights and stuff. Yeah, so we're, I'm doing an hour of stand-up, and then I'll chill after and watch the fights with everyone. I'm going to watch some of these fights this weekend, man. Do it, bro. Let me know what you think. Text me. Yeah, I'll let you know what I think about a couple of them. Let me know, dog. Uh, I'll be... The Ice House is uh, the 15th, 15th next Friday. Mm-hmm. There are 20 tickets left at that show. And then the following week, June 22nd, 23rd, I'm at Houston, Houston Improv. And then after that, July 7th, it's a big UFC night, so I'll be doing... Uh, Cherokee Casino in Oklahoma. Uh, hour stand up. Then I'll watch the fights with you guys. That's one night, one show only. And then after that, I'm in Spokane, Spokane, Washington. Get your tickets now, tfatk.com. It's the Rat King and the Beast. Thing. Thank you guys so much, man. Thanks, Chan. I appreciate it. Theo Vaughn, everybody. Not this is the Fighter in the Vaughn. I'm out. <laughs>